Good life. Hello, Jacob. Hello, everyone. Right then. Can I first say two things? One, I've been a bit of an idiot. And let me explain why I've been a bit of an idiot. Uh, right. So, I've been a bit of an idiot because I took the dot of the fluffy research assistants for a walk before starting this live. And between the Twitch live ending and this live beginning. And I managed to, well, how do I put this politely? Squirrel, fox, car, poodle, foot on curb, curb stone decides to disintegrate underneath my weight. Uh, Alex falls on grass, doesn't manage to land badly, manages to land well, but still puts all the weight on a bad angle on the foot. So, if at any point you hear me going, uh, it's because the foot's hurting. Secondly, instead of therefore being good to my diet and giving these away, I have decided they are my medication. So, I don't care if anyone says anything. Right then. So, first things first, let's get some water. I need to get that <coughs> fixed. Uh, you'll also notice I have used some of my patron money for naughty things. And the naughty thing is uh, some proper bottles. Because I got fed up with the plastic bottles tasting foul. So I have got myself these. Which are lovely and available on Amazon for not much money. And so, frankly, they're good. They pour well, they are comfortable to use, and they come as a pack of three. So for storing water in a fridge, comfortably, they're good. And also, they have that, so they ain't gonna leak anywhere. I'll open up the iron brew in a second. Now, of course, today's challenge, while I'm talking to you, instead of reviewing books, I'm going to be reviewing and building HMS Belfast. As you can see, this is not opened. So despite the warnings from Pavatsky, etc., I ha and the various other nice people who have messaged me, I have not opened it to check out, and I do not have... Actually, I do have pliers in here. I have pretty much the entire building equipment in here. So, if I need them, I can get them. But hopefully I will not need them. But let's start with things. Let's get the lovely keyboard out the way. Because, frankly, I don't need that. I'm not doing slides. And I will move the glass so you can see without it being blocked by the glass. And this is where I'm going to be building. So now I will say hello to everyone. So, you've done the introductions. Right, hello Calvin Gasberg, hello Peter Dawson, hello Michael Cooch, hello Tanif Erka, hello John Shea. On, I would add, I actually did think, I know I've said this on the chat, but I was sort of, I thought I'd put this up. If in future, please note, if it gets to Wednesday and I haven't scheduled the live for Sunday, or it gets to mon uh, it gets to Monday, and I haven't scheduled the live for the Thursday. Just ping me, because probably I think I've done it. This is going to sound strange. It's one of the things I. There are certain we all I think have them. I'm not sure if dyslexics are more common to it, but I think everyone has it to an extent in my experience. We all have certain jobs which we habitually, usually 99% of the time, we've done. But sometimes we just think we've done because we've done it so many times our brain does a play a chick plays a chick on us and we think we've done it and we haven't. So I think I've done it. If I haven't, message me on either put a comment on a video or something and or just on Discord or message me on Patreon, whatever very kind of you to do, and just go, Alex, you've been a bit of a dunderbus. Okay? And I will go. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought I'd done that. I thought I'd. It was thought Todd. I thought I'd done it. Right. Yeah. Hello, Tanaferka. Hello, GeoGuy001. Hello, Byron Newman. 
Hello, Mark Harkness. Hello, Jacob. I think you were with me during the um, Twitch live. Hope you enjoyed that. Hello, Adrian Furdan. Hello, DG40. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Ins Morrison. Hello, Steam Richards. Hello, Richard Orta. Hello, Cold War Chemical. <laughs> Come on, come on. He's lying. What happened? I wish that'd be less painful. All your weight on one foot is not good. Uh, hello, Yikas. Carl, as we're listening to one of Bilge One Four, I noticed that the NSM, as the RN Next Energy Ship Missile, is also adopted, adapted for adopted for fixed-wing aircraft. Now, the previous Concha missile, the Penguin, mm -hmm, was pretty darn good. Hello, Felix B. Hello, Abzaski. Hello, Megascro. Hello, Stafford. Hello, C. McDevitt. Hello, Parksy. Hello, Machadoso. Hello, Ron Cash. Hello, Glyn. Thank you to Glyn for sending this, by the way. And hello, Frame15. And hello, Paul Beswick. And hello, Bob Fry. And hello, HMS Ford. And new IQB4472. So let's get into this, shall we? First of all, let's see. Can we get into this? Looks like we can. Okay. There are multiple packs with numbers. This is usually a good sign. That's pack three, that's pack four. Usually he says it's a good sign. Sometimes it's not a good sign. There is a strong smell of packing materials in here, number two. Hang on. Number five. So number five was behind numbers one and two. Okay. As you can see, empty now. So you shall go back there. Number five. You should go beneath number four. On the side here. Actually next to the camera. And then we have... Oh, good lord. More drops on the floor. Aye. Oh, right now. Ooh. We have... The historical collection. Uh, we have. Do we have two instruction manuals? What's this? This looks like an instruction manual. This is an instruction manual, I think. Okay, that's an instruction manual. What is this then? This is also an instruction manual. Small question. Why is one instruction manual twice the size of the other? Um, they have an HMS hood. Why is... Well, that gets to... That, that gets to number 106. Okay, and this then start carries on and gets to the whole way through the ship. All right, so we start. We have two instruction manuals, and they are two parts. And for some reason, the first part is the thin one, and the second part is the long one. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, oh, well, you go there. Run. Band home. Hello, uh, Jack Ray. Hello. And one question I've thought about a bit is why the RN went for the 8 inch gun on the candy car scooters when they previously had 9.2? What's the size of the main issue? Uh, no, it was the treaties. They would have probably liked the 9.2. In fact, the British were at. One of the interesting things and points of contention in the treaty negotiations is the British do want the 9.2 for cruisers. But um, the Americans insist on using the Hawkins as the basis of construction. And the Hawkins, of course, are 7.5 inch. Which is. Friggin' terrible for what they want to do. It's actually a good sized gun though. Let's be honest, seven and a half inch for the USSR was an absolute exceptional weapon to pick for them for the perfect balance of something between a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser. Well, I don't think those are what I'm starting with. I don't think those are what I'm starting with. I doubt I'm starting with those. Okay. That looks roughly what I, the side of materials I'm starting with. 
It's either that pack or that pack. I think it's more likely this pack. Why do I expect that, that, that was a Glyn related model? Glyn is an absolute superstar, and I will not hear, ever hear anything said to him. In fact, honestly, uh, when we were, we've been drawing up plans, as you know, and these are all going to be announced very soon. And we think you're going to like the plans when they are announced, because they're going to be a lot of fun plans. Um, but, at the moment, and this is going to sound strange, we are, we were sort of, when we were putting it together, and we were thinking about the plans, and working out what we wanted to do, we started thinking, hmm, perhaps we should try and see if we could invite Glyn along to what we're, go what we're planning on doing. And in the end, we, dis uh, we, did, uh, we did send an offer, but we didn't expect him to accept because of where we're uh, sort of going. But we are hoping in the future, we are very much hopeful in the future, that he will join us, he and... Hopefully his lady wife. Um, sorry, that's a very old-fashioned phrase. His partner, his wife, like that's sort of thing. Um, just realised I said my grandfather's expression without actually thinking about it through. Um, would actually would actually enjoy uh, join us on some of our trips because we are in the process of setting up everything so we can do we can try and repeat the Canada model. That's our plan, broadly speaking. It's going to be more details going to be announced soon, but there is actually starts on an organisation. Again, uh, if Dan Freeman shows up, please feel free to ask him for as many details as you feel you can get out of him. He will be very unhappy to try to share them, but he's probably the least likely to... Uh, he's probably... How do I put this? I am, as a rule, quite well versed in being a lecturer and not saying anything to people. I can say a lot without saying anything. It's a rule of academia. You have to learn it. If you don't learn it, you get into trouble. Quickly. Now, those are grey. And those are, what, eight spot ones? That's good. And then we want some of these. Eee, Use the Chinese language, everyone. It'll be more exciting. Please don't. Am I going to offer my assistance to, the new, for, to be a for New Atreus Belfast? Only if I wanted to torture them. Because, honestly, I would sit there going... Why don't we use the hole, the big hole my dad designed for Belfast? After all, the original Belfast was a large town. So why don't we make a large city? Um, in fact, I would love to take some of my dad's original design and uh, my dad's hull designs for the uh, city class and go, right then, let's scale it up to the big size one. Only the Kobe gods know how they split them up between parts one and two. Yep, I would agree with that one. There again, it's the same with Lego. Also, page one, most important page, the yellow box. The yellow box. Oh, frigging joy. I need a bin box. Okay, well, I've got that. That'll do for binning today. I don't need a bin for all this plastic. So, Pobaxi, you didn't warn me about the yellow box. You know, that you could have warned me earlier about the yellow box. <laughs> Will Bilge Pumps be discussing Admiral Gorshkov moving to Black Sea? If the Admiral Gorshkov actually makes it to Black Sea, I'll be worried. Uh, mainly, mainly for the Gorshkov. Mitchell, I have to say, given the Queen Elizabeth, and by the way, uh, speaking of that, there's about 30 minutes left to vote on the patron vote, and currently Martin Peacock's got 22 votes for the Queen Elizabeth class, 
and Michael66 has got 21 votes for Singtao. But there are a few very close behind, so if anyone hasn't voted, please, oh, feels like going and checking, please do. Um, this is a build formal Lego, yes. It is a build formal Lego, it's, it's Kobe. You want to? I will. Actually, I will do. Will you finish the model? That's my plan. In three hours, three or four hours, depending on how long the, the the live will depend on how long it takes me to actually finish this. So you know, just think about that. The live's length is going to be directly proportional to how long it takes me to finish this. <laughs> Oh, and at certain points, I'm going to stick my head down and be quite rude and just go charging through the... the, the, the oh. You're right. I need to open all the bags in, one, in section one. Every time I need to open all the bags because they keep having more stuff needed from different bags. Why? It would seem sensible to me to put... Instead of putting all the stuff in different... I suppose it's easier for them. Because these are probably the ones which come from one factory. And the others are probably ones which come from another factory. And another factory. And so on and so on. Oh, they're multi-splats. They're cool. Uh, I need... Do I, I don't need that one. Um, I don't need that one. I think I opened the wrong bag. Uh, is that the right bag? Mm, I'm looking for grey fours. Ah, there are the grey fours. I did open the wrong bag. Oh... <sighs> In you go. Thank you, Jack Ray, for giving some uh, giving some memberships. Thank you. Yeah, if, if it was Airfix, Alistair Shaw, I would not have a chance of finishing it in the three hours of a live and making it look decent. Because I'd have to paint it, and I'd have to paint it properly. This is me we're talking about. I am a mild perfectionist. Um... Uh, Nice to go from. How much better would Type 42 have been if it had been batch free design right from the start with the extra 460 more shaft for last walls? A lot better. A lot better. Glenn Stewart, I'm unpacking my old Republic Cruiser now. Right now. My breakfast is built. I enjoy. Mark Hunters, how the RN gets a 9.2 inch gun? Our guns are 8 inch, the same way your carriers are treating you blind. <laughs> I find it amazing. YouTube continually has decided I'm not worthy of a gift. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Melanie. Yes, Kobe is quite good. This reminds me of how the move to block building and welding together ships was explained. It all goes together like Lego bricks. It worked. Don't worry, Pavax, it's not your fault. Um, I think I've said Night Secret for and I wish they'd done a better job of cleaning the carrier before they sank it on Brazil on the Brazilian carrier. Um, so we can look forward to a ten hour live. There was the yellow box. There are yellow boxes in the instruction manuals. <laughs> there are all sorts of things in the instruction manuals. Yay, there we go. We have a four, we have two we need two of those, don't we? We need four. Yep. Two for each end. So one goes there. And one goes there, and one goes there. I have a feeling I'm building the keel. I don't know why I have this feeling I'm building the keel, but I have the feeling I'm building the keel. Um, okay, this is interesting. Oh, good lord. I really do need to... Okay, I'm just going to open both other boxes, uh, bags now from bag one. Why, again, the sheer amount of plastic... This feels almost like an Amazon box. Seriously. Oh, you should have seen the way the bo the bottles arrived. Seriously, the bottles arrived. The, uh, and I was sort of going, oh, good lord, they're going to be smashed to pieces because of the bo uh, the way the box looked. And they were actually fine. I was sort of going, oh. Um, I didn't expect that, but okay. I'm happy. I'm very happy. They're all fine. And it then sort of made me think, well, hang on, am I so used to the sheer overpacking that goes on in terms of tweezers? Mm. 
Tempting. Um, the sheer overpacking that goes on as standard for Amazon that now I don't understand when things are just finally they're just packed okay, and they're uh, they're just packed. It's fine. It doesn't need to be any more than that. I'm just so used to it being absolutely massively overpacked. And what was interesting? Hello, there's no one. Can you tell what it is yet? Um, wasn't there an artistic guy who used to say that all the time? I seem to remember watching some of his shows. Which was, they would always have, can you tell what it is yet? Was it Rolf Harris? It was Rolf Harris, wasn't it? Uh, there's another icon of my childhood who's fallen a few steps down the ladder. I don't know. You start to feel really old at a certain point. Nope. No, 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 not that one, not that piece. That piece! Woohoo! Right. Has Melanie finally got membership? Because <laughs> Jack Ray seems to be giving membership until Melanie gets there. <laughs> oh. Make sure. Well, Dr. Clark, as for Beltrons, what are the odds the one you record upside down, over in Upside Down, uh, Down Underland, to be a video podcast? Well, uh, if we're down there, we will attempt to try to do many things like that. Hello, VCH. Ooh, hello. Republic Starwing, hello. I thought Lego didn't make sense of a real life military vehicles. They don't. Kobe are the exception. They use Lego star bricks and have a license. Basically, that's how Lego gets around it. Someone else does it for them. It's the, the it's the true modern way. Someone else does your dirty work for you. My sorry, where is that setting? <sighs> okay. I'm going to leave this all to Jack to sort out because he is far more knowledgeable when it comes to these things than I am. Right, which sounds naughty, but yeah, it's sensible. Again, first rule of academia, learn when there's someone better at something than you, and let them be better than you. Don't try and be the best at everything. You can't. Try and be really good at what you're good at. I'm, oh good lord. Right, and so, did it, did it, there's, the, there's a free piece. And there's another free long piece. Free, 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 freeze. That's... <sighs> they can't have gone anywhere. I haven't got a poodle in here who's nicking Lego pieces. That was one of the requirements of doing this today. I went, no, I love the poodle, but I am not having him in here nicking Lego. It wouldn't be the first time and wouldn't be the last time. He doesn't, by the way, before anyone gets worried, he goes, what happens if he eats it? He doesn't eat it. That's the annoying thing. He doesn't eat the Lego or do anything like that. No, no, no. He he goes and puts it down places, which is probably better than him. E well, it's much better than him eating it. I much prefer to it than him eating it. But it is the fact that he does do it, which is sort of mildly irritating. On a level. Ba -da -ba -bang. I need to find. Uh, see, my logistics sense are screaming. He just lost everything. No, I haven't lost everything. Hello, Dan Freeman. Hello, Amelia Barry. You've been a member for three months. Hello. I hope you've had a great day as well. And very cool. Kling, is that a Klingon warbird, isn't it? Or is that disc or is that an SG? No, it's a Klingon warbird. I think I'm sure it's a Klingon warbird. But they're from the angle. It could look like one of the Stargate uh, Stargate ships as well. Since when does Amazon overpack? As a rule, 
I thought, as a rule, with my experience with Amazon, is that you have one thing in a massive, massive box, which has layers and layers of packing in it, which doesn't really need to exist. Maybe they're, maybe they're just fed up with my house. Maybe it's something specific for my house, because in the nicest way, you do not send to my house stuff which has not been properly, uh, not, stuff which does not survive. Our fam uh, my uh, my um, mum and sister are absolute queens of going through things like, um, oh, you've got a complaints procedure. That's good. Watch me demolish it. In like five minutes. We've turned the page. Goodness gracious me. Oh, good lord. We're getting onto some of the hull structure, I do believe. This, this is, this is interesting. Um. So. I take that. I take a red. I add... A two, and then I add that, and then I do this times four. Hang on. Something has appeared which wasn't there earlier. Ah, yes. Two of these. Is this an eight or a ten? It is an eight. It is an eight. Mm-hmm. I missed that. And two of those. Okay. See? You should never be so confident in yourself. You can always end up having to go back a step and repeat. And do this four times over for the inner ones. Okay. Oh... Ba da da ba 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 ba. Ye da 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 di. Ye da 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 da. Ye da 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 di 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 di. Oh da 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 da. Ye da 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 di 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 di. Right. Let's answer some questions. Let's see. How do British come off major power or guys as defence or interested in the shipbuilding industry? I thought British ship loss company would be the main UK supplier. Probably what they do is they work through the subsidiary network. So whilst you are right to think that British shipyards would be probably the main suppliers, uh, they would probably set up subsidiary suppliers in every single other part of the Commonwealth, and they try and create an integrated, def integrated defence industry that way. It would be painful, annoying, and politically interesting, but it would be the only way to go about it, and it would probably be what the British would do, because that would then create a uh, plurality of availability of its systems. In other words, you could rely on the builders in one place to be able to fix the thing you've built in another place. And you'd start off with building small things everywhere and probably grow to the level of building cruisers. Capital ships and carriers would be an interesting thing. Um, the probability is they don't get spread about their construction. Mainly because they are actually quite finicky beasts. But you need to maintain the yards having the ability to actually build them, uh, well, maintain and repair them. So you would still need to do a lot of work on the infrastructure. So you probably spare, uh, you probably send them out for maintenance into those places, but not construction. So again, that'd be a way of spreading around the love and the money. Bada bum 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 bum. Ba da 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 da. Nope, that's the wrong one. This is fun, right? Well, that's probably because I'm not talking that much that people aren't, aren't, aren't liking as much as they normally do. VCH. Um, Gobi. Hello, Night Hammer Merchant. Yes. Neat. Yes, I, uh, yes. thanks to Glynn, I have the I have the Belfast model. Thanks to the very nice Glynn, I do have the Belfast model. And I am building the Belfast model. And who knows, we will get this complete today. No Dalmatians, no Poodle, what's next? No Destroyer? Oh, good lord, no. 
Uh, there's no Dalmatians, but there, the reason there's no Poodle, as said, is because he would be eating bricks. Literally. Well, not eating bricks, re uh, rearranging bricks and moving them off places. He thinks it's great fun to whack them with his paws. He thinks it's great fun to pick up a couple and go and drop them off in places, and then have me hunt for them. And I don't agree it's great fun, so no. No, that's not happening. It's just not. Right then, so. These. Right, those have that. Those have that. Which are also the same as that one. And then these have this. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. This is going to be a very equilaterally shaped cruiser in the end, this looks like, which is interesting. Cruiser hulls tended to be slightly more... How do I put this? Slightly less equality in terms of their um, shaping, but I can understand why from a Lego perspective you might have pursued this route. In fact, it makes a lot of sense from a um, Lego construction perspective to have pursued this route. There you go. Ba-da-da-dum. Ba -da -da -dum. Ren. Who got the idea you might have missed something? And you're sitting there going, hmm, what did I miss? Ah, now I realize what I missed. Well, that's fine. That's something I can quickly sort out. Ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. I was building my cruiser slightly leaner and meaner than you're supposed to. What can I say? I'm a classicist. I like my vessels to have, you know, lean, mean shaping. Now, this is... There it is. I think this could be an exacting build, so I think this is going to be a everything is built to measure. But you have to be very careful, because it's going to sound strange. They have bits which give you instructions for assembling the major components. And then if you don't carefully read this bit, you then go, hang on, that's a bit missing. And then you see it later on and go, hang on, I haven't put that bit in. Okay. All right. Now. So that's a uh, two, four, six, eight. Yes, and this is an eight. And I need four of these eights. Thank you. Click, join. Ooh. Cat is stuck behind the computer monitor. Hello, see you, Mr. Glad to hear the cat's actually got a nice place. It's a Robin Hood Firehawk class from the Klingon Academy game. Cool! So I was right first time, it was a Klingon. Uh, 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 Klingon one. But it's a Romulan one. Romulan Firehawk. So it's a Romulan Klingon bird. Well, style. A Romulan bird of prey. Hmm. 
Interesting. Cute. Da 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 da. Right. I feel like looking for a spy camera with the view through the glass handle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Do you get another sticker when you hit 10,000? I have no idea what happens when you hit 10,000. I think you get one when you hit 100,000 subscribers, but I don't know what happens when you hit 10,000 subscribers. Um, I wouldn't say Alistair Shaw since the turn of the 19th century. Uh, I wouldn't say it so quickly. I'd say, ooh, it's since the 1980s more than anything. People forget, often put back it. There's a difference between being anti-government spending and prudent about government spending. There is a difference. The Tories have always been, traditionally, up until about the 1980s, were always quite happy to spend money when they needed to. And they did spend a lot of money when they needed to. So why was there an overcapacity problem for British shipless company? Um, because it, there's a huge amount of construction capability there built there to support the Royal Navy, and the Royal Navy was being kept up to that size, and didn't need new construction. And night time productions. How would you fix the Australian light destroyer project in the late sixties, early seventies? Actually, put some proper funding into its infrastructure, then it could actually be viable. Had the Type 9 Productions, had the Type 84 82 gone through and been built, or could the class have come with some tweaking, been a good candidate for the Australian Light Crew or Destroyer Project? It uh, would have been a bit big, but could have been. How does the RCN 296 compare to the Danish name I have for Hutfeldt? Um, the RCN T26 is better than the Hiver Hoodfelt, but the Hiver Hoodfelt does have some advantages. You also have to remember that when people do a cost comparison of the two, they are talking twaddle usually because they start going on about, well, you know, the Hiver the Hoodfelt costs this. Well, actually, what they tend to forget is to include the fact that Stanflex and all those components are already paid for. So the Hiver Hoodfelt costs the price it does because of the Stanflex system. If you were sensible, going the whole hog and building a Stanflex system would be a very sensible thing for any nation which is a medium pat to do and I am a big proponent of Stanflex because of it being a very sensible thing for medium power nations to do and I think the nations which are medium power is larger than those nations themselves realize however saying that and with all this being the case it's not a one size fits all fixes everything to one trick pony it's something which has to be fought through, and something which has to be done properly. Which is in many ways the problems, because let's be honest, the one thing, and um, I just came up a lot in the various topics and discussions to do with the... Um, the building of the uh, the building of the wooden ship the great ships that we have a small problem in that long term thinking is not really something which is carried out these days and that is a problem because if you don't have long term thinking you can't possibly have the success you need to have in these things. And you need to have some long-term thinking. You need to start thinking things through and going, okay, is this a sensible pro approach for me to do? Is this sensible for us to do long-term? Stanflex is all about a massive long-term investment in defence spending. And it really is a massive long-term investment in defence spending. You have to remember, Stanflex, they are buying the modules, they're by setting up the facilities to maintain the modules. There are all sorts of things which they are doing. I think I've got a too long one. I've got to use the 10 rather than 8, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's really the problem. We... 
I wouldn't say we've lost the capacity for long-term thinking, but we spend a lot of times being quite silly with long-term thinking. One of the best examples is the California Rail and HS2. These are all about building capacity in networks. And yes, they're going to be painful. Yes, they're going to be expensive. Those sorts of projects always are painful and always are expensive. But guess what? They tend to be, once you build them, they tend to be there forever and useful forever. So it's this kind of modularity which starts to come and people go, well, we're looking at this in the this term or this period. And you sit there going, but the thing is, you're looking at it in an artificially short period. This is going to be something which is going to be around for a hundred odd years too. Four, six, eight to ten. Yep, it's going to have ten, so that goes. And that goes over that. And then the eight, if I can find the other eight, that's another ten. I'm looking for the other eight. Eight. That's not an eight. That's not an eight. Okay, please don't tell me you're in another bag. Hello, there's the other eight. I'd say that's the eight, two, four, six, eight. Yes, it is. Goes there. Then we put this and that. And it's very easy for people like me who are academics to sit on the sidelines and go, yeah, it, it, it's stupid not to be doing long-term thinking. But the fact is that's actually the role of academics. That's actually technically what academics are supposed to do. We're supposed to sit and take the long view of things and go, right then, take a sit back and go, you know what? We should be thinking this through more properly. We should be thinking about long-term investments because okay, it's not about the environment is one thing, but also and this is going to shock people, I know, I know if I say it, but it's also about building capacity in the wider system. There should be capacity in your rail network. There should be capacity in these things so that people have choices. And that's the thing. That's what we're giving people. And it takes a lot of investment to set up a rail network. It really does. You cannot overstate how much frigging money it takes to set up a railway. There is actually no scenario where it is cheap. And, oh, we could have done it this way or that way. And I watched... One of the interesting things is I get interested in railway projects, so I watch quite a lot of details about them. So I know a fair tad about HS2 and California Rail, because they come up in my YouTube feed, and they come up all sorts of things quite a lot. And the more and more I watch it, the more and more I think, actually, they have some pretty good ideas, but the thing is, you need to fund those ideas properly to make them work. And that's the big problem. It's getting people to actually fund the ideas and fund them sensibly. So, mm -hmm. and that goes into that. Better than. Hmm. Let's see. Can I get this off? Because. Ooh, this is going to be fun to get off. Pliers per vaccine, I think you said? Steve Clark, question one. Alex, in my opinion, uh, opinion, my opinion, democratic political leaders only ever look in periods of terms of electric vehicles, so they never do long term thinking. How can you get them to build long lasting projects? Um, you could either have longer lasting election cycles, that's a question. You could have people have to be think, be in power for eight years or something like that. Or, and this is a slightly more naughty one, but it does work, and it's worthwhile thinking about. It's when you have these things and you pass them off into over, uh, quasi non government organizations and quangos, and you in charge them over a long period, and you basically have to make them like the French do with defense procurement. You make them go, right, you're going to enact a part, uh, you have to enact something through parliament, you have to enact a law to fund this, and this is what this organization is set to. 
So now we have this organization's plan for the next 10, 20 years. I'm not sure about either myself as methodologies, but the French one does have some impact. Not always good impact, I would admit. Not always good impact. So it's worthwhile thinking these things through. Right then. Tell me that's the short one. Mm hmm. And that should give me four. Yes, it does. And it does. Ah. It's always good when a cunning plan comes together. You didn't see that, did you? I need to know how many pieces this is. It's many, many pieces. Lego Titanic, that takes years to build. Night Hammer Brunson, speaking of rails, beaching closed much of our network down. Is there anything that was done in that area that you would have done differently? Oh, there's huge amounts. There was also the fact that here is one of the problems with the survey beaching did, and this is one of the things which has always annoyed me. The um, people doing the survey took trains to get to the places, right, they were doing the surveys of. So they actually missed a lot of the traffic because they got the commuter train out to the places in the suburbs and the villages. And then they sat and watched them and then they got the last train back. So they actually missed the big, uh, big load of people going through. And realistically, what you actually needed, what would have been sensible, would have been... How do I put this politely? would have been an actual thought process going, hmm, let's make this work. Or rather, a thought process going, well, hang on, we've been here, we haven't seen anyone, but there's this, this many sales of tickets, so are they lying? If you've done a ticket analysis and gone, where are they selling tickets, when are they selling tickets, perhaps you then go, well, instead, let's, instead of cutting the lines, let's... Um, reduce the service. Let's focus on peak at uh, peak times. I trip the go down to one train an hour during the rest of the day and only have trains serving at the peak community uh, in the sort of the peak hours rate and more regular trains. That's all options, which would have been sensible, but would of course required line maintenance. And it's a case it, it, the cost has to be made of the cost of maintenance versus the cost of line, and it's different today with the analysis of environmental impact, etc. But also in times of, the, in those days, people, they, that's one of the things I funny things I, I found is that they actually were all, also basing it on road usage on the fact that they didn't believe everyone would have a have or want to have a car. And you sit there and go, well, yeah, then you made the, the defaults, the car, the only viable means of getting around. And suddenly everyone has to want to have a car. Yes, that's it. Which is not exactly a big surprise, is it? Or is it a big surprise? Am I strange in not being in not being surprised by it? Now, ooh, right then. So we have that. We have that. We have one of these. And then we have this. Cute. Maybe, you know, th th that's the trouble of being a historian. You get used to thinking about things in very much the long-term perspective. <sighs> yeah. You do. And sometimes you even forget where the camera's currently pointed out. Just make sure that's on that line. So you have more view. Mm hmm. Right then. Da -da 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 I wonder how these pieces are gonna fit together. It'll be interesting to see. I'm having a feeling this is one of the bits which goes forward or aft. I have a I, I have a sneaking suspicion which one it is, but I will 
look forward and wait to find out. Oh, hello. Mm hmm. There are a lot of pieces in this, before anyone asks. There are a lot of pieces. It's quite fun. But there are a lot of pieces. And one of the tens. So this is going to be a 13. Hello. And the 10 goes up to there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yes. 2, 4, 6, 10. Mm -hmm. And the 3 takes it to an end. And then we want one of these. We want one of these. We want a 4. We want the longer one of this. I want one of this. Sometimes I do wonder about the pieces they give you, because you go, surely you could have just gone for that piece. That would have been easier than this option. But no, they've gone for that option. And then you sort of look at it and go, really? Okay. Oh, I'm looking for a little thing, a very little thing. Is it that? I don't think it's that, but that's the only thing I have which is remotely like that. I don't think it's that, though. Oh, it's a really little thing. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to leave that in there, though, for the moment, until I find out, find the other thing, find the thing it is from. Because it looks smaller, the thing on the, the design. Unless there's another bag around here that I'm not seeing. Mm-hmm. We'll see. We will see. You sit there for the moment while I figure this one out. Can't guarantee. The lock I have to go to the Birmingham Solutions Centre next month. The only thing is it's both cheaper and quicker to fly from Glasgow than take train. Yep, doesn't surprise me. Hello, Leah Gazeba. Question, uh, C Clark, question, rather, other than the RN compelling all the Project Type 26 and 31s uh, complete, what should the RN be bidding, resource, uh, be bidding resources for next? Uh, type, type 83, potentially, but I would say more likely what they'll be bidding for next is some sort of UAV for the, um, the, for the carriers. Because that would make sense. I have a feeling this is going to go down this hole. I have that feeling. I don't... Oh, it's going to go in this one. I have a feeling it's not going to be the one in this one. So, I'm having a feeling that is somewhere. No, it's not round there. <clears throat> Check there's no piece on the floor. Bum, bum, bum. There is no piece on the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, we will see what happens. We will see what we will see. I have a feeling it's probably in pot two or something like that. <sighs> Come on. 
Because so far, that's the distinct impression I'm getting from this thing. I have a doubt where I'll find it when I use all these pieces up in front of me. Because there is the option that it's just being hidden by the sheer number of pieces in front of me. And that I can't see it in that max. Yep, that's the right colour. But it's white, so that is white, so that looks like it does. But that's far bigger than the thing is pictured on this picture. <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to do this. that, get the free, put two on that on that, put that like that on that, and then insert that underneath. Hello. You, can you tell what it is yet? Mm hmm. I shouldn't keep saying that. It will get me in trouble. Mm hmm. But. Okay. Now I know I am definitely missing a bag. So. Because I've got more pieces. It should say a big sign going, this is in bag two. Just check, there are no bits in here. No. No bits in there. Right then. So let's go. That's not that bag. It's not in that bag. There are bits of black in here, but not the right ones. Not in this bag. Not in this bag. Not in this bag. But, guess what? There are in this bag. Because that sort of caught fire again. Oh, that's terrible. So I guess they won't be able to deploy it. So you mean no one will get told off for, for it not deploying and breaking down because it won't have ever managed to deploy in the first place. It's terrible when it break but uh, when it catches fire like it does. Mm hmm. Ba -da 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 well, there's one. Ooh. 
Where's the other one? It was in the bag, and it's just come out of the bag. So, the odds are, it's right in front of me. And there it is. Hidden by the patch of darkness. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, well, that's a two. Da 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 da. And then that's a two. And then flip it over. And I'll do that. And put in one of these jewel bases, which are really quite cool. And then we want that. And that. And that. And that. Well, I now have a roll for this job, this thing. So that can't be the thing I thought it was. So that means that thing is somewhere in another bag. Somewhere in this whole maelstrom of parts is the component I am looking for for that. Because this does something else. Okay. But helpfully... If I hadn't opened up the bags I have broken up, I wouldn't have been able to get it or use it. It is. It's fun. Just never ending supply of things which have to be Okay. This is gonna be a phone camera job, I think. Ooh. Mardly exam mildly, mildly. Because it's black on There we go. Ah, Oh, check there's nothing white down there either. Ow! Oh, good lord. Remind me, new ankle, new ankle. Take care, Glenn. Good luck with your work. <sighs> too many pieces left over for a new bag. You'd think too many pieces left over for a new bag, but... Yeah. As we've seen, that's not the way this is working out. That's not the way this is working out. And I'm tempted to say it's a new bag again because there are not enough of these little black pieces. Not here. Ah, oh, there they are. I think. Nope, not them either. Ah, clumber.
Little black circles. Kobe, I love you as a company. You're wonderful. But, God, a good house helped me. Can you please sort out your bag packing strategy? Now, you see, what you're supposed to have, if you consider this, is many, many of those to slot in here. With the idea being... You have them all along there. Are they not here? I'm fast approaching the policy of shall I open up every single bag and just start working through and just sit, constantly have the sea of parts in front of me. It's a temptation. It is a real temptation. They don't have them in. They don't have the little black things rolling around in them. They're not over here. There is none lit down here. So, yeah. You all go there. You go there. It's got lots of little parts in it, but not the right ones. Bag number three. And by the way, usually I do like to complete these things to order, but here you go. No. Hang on. Yes. Possibly. Yes. Probably. And oh, what do you know? There's the bit I was missing from earlier. Bag number three. Kobe, you are trying to make my life stressful. This was supposed to be my relaxing... Oh no, where did that come from? I didn't build that. Those bits look pre-built and pre-aligned. Okay, they will be left there with Atrium Spell Fast. All right, so now I have found the components and some chain links which look like they come from a some form of um, anchor. Well, hey. Uh, a little off topic, but did the Fleet Arum or RAF hang on to any piston air travel longer than uh, long for things like coin after World War II? Um, honestly, not for coin necessarily, but they did hang on to them for quite a while. They had a few of them around for quite a long service, and they could be amazingly useful for all sorts of random things. But, um, yeah. Chain link. They were, um, there were, many, there were many, many different options for things they would go with. Let's put it that way. Now, I know you're supposed to be a white thing, but you're going to be a grey one. Don't you fall anywhere. Stay. Uh, sure. you, would you ever be a good replacement for Navex articles if you did all the signals processing on board a ship in a carrier? Uh, yeah, you could do it that way. Certainly, I, I did a paper a few years ago where I said the fleet uh, where I said the fleet arms replacement for AWACS would probably be unaccrued. And that was years ago I wrote that paper. Because it just makes sense, longer term. If this turns up again and I need to find even more of these, Kobe, please notice, I'll be coming for you all. I will be. 
I'm not sure how I will get my revenge, but I will get my revenge. If you do not pro have not provided me with enough of these. Right then. And that's definitely never coming off. Have anyone had suggestions? Oh, good. <laughs> I have. Oh, for goodness sake, Kobe. Not more parts which aren't here and are in other bags. By the way, I'm going to say the repellers. They're on the they're on the the, the, the thing. If these are not in the rest of free uh, ba uh, sets, ba bags of uh, free, etc., I'm going to be so, so frickening. Yep. But Awox talks to me. Well, it would be airborne early warning with the control going back to the carrier. So it would have to be some form of patch network as well added into it. Hello, those bits are probably small bits. Oh, that includes the anchor. Oh, yeah, okay, right then. You guys and you are going over there, because you're small bits, which I might need in a bit. And knowing Kobe, you are going to be needed for something which I don't reveal until I found it. Ah. No, not those bits. If anyone from Kobe ever comments on this and goes, well, you should have opened the bags in order, so I'm going to tell them they should have packed the bags in order then. Again, small funny bits, going to the small funny bits for the section. Stay. No. Okay, I need little grey squares with a flat top. That is what I'm looking for. They are sometimes the most common and ubiquitous stick piece of kit in the entirety of Lego. And sometimes they are the most disappearing kit in the piece of in the Lego. Again, small things I might need in a bit. Because they have got specialist bits in them. No. Okay. Right then. You can all. I will put this up and show you. So. Sorry about the flight. I am looking for those pieces. As you can see, we are singularly lacking those pieces. So, my view is, they must be in the bags. So, that is where I'm going to look. Oh. How about in the next part showing pictures sorted by bag number? Oh, good God. Sheesh. Don't say that kind of thing out loud. It'll give me a, a happy gasm. Um, that just sounds so sensible and organized. Ah, I found... Hang on, no. I found one grey one and two white ones. So there we have one grey one. See, in this pack there is one grey one. There are supposed to be two grey ones. No, not in here. Not in here, but that looks like some specialist parts for later. 
Standard building parts, anything special. Not that I'd notice, but I'll probably need them in a bit. I should have sorted this all before today's live began and not gone. Oh, I don't want to open it on live because I want it to be unboxed and it, I want a bit of cool so everyone knows that this is not me faking building it. And I don't have any trouble with trolls over it. And I'm sort of going, no, I should have got it out and sorted all the parts, shouldn't I? I should have got out all the parts and sorted them all. And every single one and just gone right then. I don't trust you, Kobe. I don't trust anyone. All right then. No. No. Oh, that's more funny bits, which I might be needed in a second. So, we have one grey and two... Hang on, do we have another grey in here? No, we have a grey, we have a black, and we have two whites. That's not really helpful. That is not just not helpful. No. Oh, there are some boats in here, though. That should be fun. Little boats. They can go there, because I remember where they are. One eight little boats. No, nothing really fancy, nothing special. No, but lots of weird little parts in there. No, but again, lots of weird little parts. Lots of weird little parts. Lots of weird little parts. I think they're probably something to do with guns. Hello, another white one. And no, just another white one. Right there. No, weird parts. Weird parts. Ah, oh, we have another. We have a pair of grey ones. What do you know? We have a pair of grey ones in this bag. Rest here will sort out. Generic. Looks like almost hull construction parts. That's great. And bag five. Um, I think they're generic building parts, but they're still small, so I'll put them over in that small pile. Ah, we have the ends in. Again, special file. That looks like a turret mount. So, again, special pile. Uh, weird stuff. Special pile. Standard building stuff. That about. Hello. Well, the propeller and shaft came out of the foot pack one. So, uh, Pabatsky, um, the intention is to finish the model, yes. And this could take a while. They are supposed to be packed in order. I would presume they'd have been packed in order, but this one appears not to have been packed in order, so, um, wish me luck. Black, black, grey, grey. Two greys. We will hope, as they say. We will hope. Mm hmm 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 Till the morning comes, give me hope. Mm hmm hope. Mm hmm hope until the morning comes. Right then, so I want that to be there. That to be, and I, oh good lord, I need more of those. Oh, goodness gracious me. I have got some of the most interesting Lego in front of me that I have ever seen. I know it's Kobe, not Lego, don't worry. But these bricks are always Lego. All these bricks like this are Lego. I don't care what fantasy they put or project them in terms of company organisation. They are Lego. Um, and yet... You know... Mm -hmm. Right then, so now I need to take this and I need to take this piece of white I need to find more of these. I need to put this. Hmm. 
and this on this. I'm imagining the shipyard doing the same scrolling to pieces. Don't joke, it is not, not, not unknown. It is not unknown. Oh no, that's got weird pieces. That's weird bits. Okay, so that has a 2-2. Two, 2 two formation. All right, so we look for something like that. This is a fun one. Everything that goes in a special file. Not everything goes in a special file. I try and be more selective than that. It's tempting, though, sometimes. Because everything is special to me. Oh, sorry, couldn't resist it. Couldn't resist. I'd say, perhaps, this is a challenge build for some reason. Um, my honest instinct would be that someone assembled this, put this pack of uh, this pack of construction stuff together on a Friday night. there are some pieces here which are not like they're supposed to be in the order. That is specialist but generic specialist. And that's got the A18 on it. Okay. There we go. See, this is another pack from number five, which has the piece in it, which I'm supposed to use now. And I went through all the packs because I've got all the special packs from numbers packs one, two, three, four, and five there, and that's where it was. All right. Hopefully, I'll start you hoovering up bits in a second, and they'll start getting all used, and then I won't have this huge pile of pieces on my desk. But here we go. Mm-hmm. Ba da da. And then we find another one like this, and no, not that one. That one. And then we want one of those. Again, well, no, not that. See, right. Let's see if we can find. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> not those. Not those. Yeah, I heard you drop on the floor. I know you're trying to hide from me. Everything's trying to make this fun. Everything's trying to make this fun. I need a twos. Nope. 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 That's got threes and fours. Hmm. Luckily, I have masses and masses of patience, and I should have started my own brew, shouldn't I? Then my uh, then I will be ha very very happy. I will start my embrew after I have found the piece I'm looking for. Um, that's some small actual fun bits as well. Yeah, I'm gonna stick that over in this pile. Ba da da ya da 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 da. Those are all big bits. Those are small pieces as well. Big bits. 
small bits. Um, hang on, that's a white one. I don't want a white, I want grey, but I will put that in the small bits pile. Um, da -da -da -da. No, they go in the generic bits pile. Ooh. What's the over under when he calls Drac or Dan for assistance? I'm not going to call anyone for assistance, mainly because I know they're both busy. Take care, Amelia. That would be fun, actually, doing that, Dan, and sticking all those models together. That was James... Well, James May was did, 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 did sort of television programs like that, didn't they? He did the one where the, he built the world's longest model railway and things like that. No. 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 Okay. They were sitting right in front of me the whole time. Yes, you are allowed to make fun of that. I know I will be. wants me to do this again. Okay. This time it wants me a piece like that. Nope, that's not the right piece. That's not the right piece. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Hello. Iron Brew. I completed that thing. I deserve Iron Brew. That wasn't helpful. Oh, good lord. The stretching, the agony. The 1901 Iron Brew. There we go. Right. Sorry, my friend, my friend and I got into a discussion of hideous aircraft that came today. Guess what came up first? Uh, Blackburn, Blackburn. You are in charge of making the UK industries efficient from the 1980s and beyond. Privatising has been rejected as not needed, so what do you do? Uh... Oh, good lord. If I'm not privatising things... Um... If I'm not privatising them, then I establish every company as, to an extent, a limited company with the Bank of England as the major shareholder, so they're arm's length from the government... Then I get them run as part, and I brew, brewed all under a trust, which I'll call the UK National Pension Scheme. And basically, the whole thing of the pension investments fund will be used to fund and invest in the companies. In return, the profits will fund the pensions. 
but there again, considering I come from the side of the aisle which doesn't tend to like to private, uh, doesn't, doesn't like, tend to like to nationalise things unless it absolutely has to, and there are things actually I do agree with nationalising, um, that is kind of going on the grain for me. Don't hurt. The white thing is supposed to. I have worked out what the white thing is for. And I found something else which could be the tiny thing which goes in the hole. And it's gone in the hole rather well. So I'm going with that is the thing that's supposed to be in that hole. Although, I have just found a white one. Again, it was in pack five. So I hate someone. Not, of course, anyone human. I hate a corporate entity. Is what I'm going with at the moment. So, yes, I hate a corporate entity. And they annoy me greatly. However, in their defence, they annoy everyone. Greatly. Oh, good lord. Do you ever get the idea that sometimes they add in pieces just for the sake of adding in pieces? You sit there and go, I could do that with just one one of those pieces, which you've already got in here, so why have you given me all these separate pieces? And then you sit there and go, okay, so this is just to, just to make, get, get it around number of pieces. I do sometimes wonder if they do make the pieces up and go, oh, we've got to get to 1,500, we're only at 1,400 or something like that. Oh, okay, we'll turn this into this, and this component, and this component, and then we're, then we're at 1,500, right? Then you're going, yeah, we're there, but do you realise you've just added a whole load of extra pieces you didn't need? Yes, but it gets you constructed. It's not exactly the most efficient construction methodology, though, is it? No. But it's the 1,500 pieces that counts, because that's what, and I know this because I will also be bragging about it, that's what everyone says when they, you know, when, not in normal company, please note, and this is just advice to people as a whole out there. Speaking as someone with the sheer number of cousins I have, walking up to a girl or a boy you're interested in and going, I completed a 50... Actually, no, boys will probably... On the balance of experience, the vast majority of girls, if you walk up to them and go, I've completed a 1,500-piece Lego, Lego model, they will not be infused with it. The vast majority of boys, if you, a girl, or anyone actually, who walked up to them and said, I've completed a 1500 piece Lego model, will say, yeba dabba do. On the balance of probabilities, the, you know, it, 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 it will work for one group, it won't work for the other, as a kind of pickup line. Ju I'm just trying for the general advice here. I got one of the comments I got from someone le who decided to stop being a patron, and there are some people who stop being a patron for. All sorts of reasons. The vast majority, it's change of financial circumstances, which is, frankly, if anyone holds that against them, I would not. It would not be me, and I completely understand, having had the life I've had with my family. Um, but one of the interesting things one one put was Doctor Clark doesn't give enough. Uh, uh, doesn't give enough um, life advice. So I've stopped support. I'm stopping supporting him, and I just went, okay, right then. Well, I can start giving some life advice if people really want me to. But honestly, I'm a historian. I have the social life of you. See my social life. This is my social life. I love you all dearly, but this is my social life. This is what I'm doing on a Sunday. 
I almost got an invite out for uh, for uh, Valentine's Day, but then my friend who was inviting me out realised it was Valentine's Day and said, no, we're not going out that day because it'll be too expensive. And I went, considering I was the one paying for us, and I didn't care, and I didn't realise it was Valentine's Day either, does that really matter? Yes, it does, apparently. And the reason I'm paying is because it's kind of a belated birthday present. And possibly Christmas present thrown into one. Depends. If they bring a Christmas present, then it's a Christmas present and birthday present thrown into one. That's a good thing about taking someone out to lunch. It can be turned into many things if you need to. Just add dessert and a starter. No, no. I'll see when it comes up. I think I'm jumping ahead of myself, but we'll leave that to one side. Right, I need more of those black pieces, and I need something like that. But not that. No. Funny pile, funny piece pile. Tiny thing that sounds like Yeah. Ah. Uh, That sounds like a good way to get around the dictat from EU that environs nationalism, except in, uh, nationalization, except in reasons of defense. Well, yes, because they'd all be technically be private companies, but just with the government as the majority shareholder through the Bank of England. And it would be basically willed as kind of like the um, Norwegians do it as the sovereign wealth fund. Uh, sovereign wealth slash, uh, I would call it the sovereign wealth slash national pension fund. Hello, you look like something similar to what I'm looking for, but you're not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a curve which has two stops. Ooh, nope, not you. Close, but no cigar. Ooh, could be you. <gasps> yes, it is, it's you! And a Again, what is it with this sheer amount of things which are coming out from bag number five? Was bag number five the random bit bag? Is that it? Is that the thing I didn't understand? Bag number five was in the place it was because it's the random bits bag. Richards, what have you done to piss uh, to annoy Nightbot? Richards, you're annoying Nightbot. What have you done to annoy it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. It gets fun. Hang on. The problem is these are black. And they're also supposed to be curved, so they're not the right ones. I thought they were, but they're not. Okay, I'm doing something naughty, and do, uh, I do apologise if this spoils your view, but... Ah, fudgical. Light on. Yep. This way, I can see more. And quickly. No. 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 If it goes into the, if it's in the last bag from number five, I am going to absolutely. No, I'm going to track down Corby and I'm going to have a long conversation with them about their organization system and how it distributes in the UK. Because obviously, although that's a very nice bag, they have something weird going on. Again. 
Nightbot is messing around today. Nightbot is here to take names, apparently, today. It's just after Richards. What can I say? He's managed to upset Nightbot. I, I kept telling you, don't upset Nightbot. Yeah, he's on to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing. Nightbot doesn't seem to engage anyone else other than Richards. I I'm not sure how we set it up, but it seems to be permanently going, Richards, I don't like you. <laughs> no. Um, not, it wasn't the bag from one again. It was bag from two. Don't worry, uh, Bobatsi, I have come round to the conclusion that... Um, there we go. We have that. We have this. We have the bits. I can sort this all out now. I don't think I will ever be a professional... Um, how do I put this politely? A professional Lego builder. Although, I do actually have a friend who is. Or when I say friend, someone I went to school with. In a traditional British way, it's not... It's a friend in so much as we went to same uh, the school together and therefore we suffered through the same pain on a regular, semi-regular basis. And therefore we know each other. Hang on. I'm not sure if that's the right one. It looks like the right one. It looks like the right thing. But is it the right thing? Or is it something approximately the right thing? Let's just check quickly. No, no. Check there's nothing in the bigger bags. Because sometimes they stick small items in the bigger bags. I have now opened all the bags from sort of bags one and two, by the way. So just before anyone starts thinking that I'm Randomly searching bags. Now pretty much everything from one and two is open. I'm not quite that silly. Um, two bags from three are open and one bag from five has been opened. No, two bags from five have been opened and one from three. No. This is absorbing, Galen, and this is going to be here for a while. This is definitely once this is assembled, this is never coming apart. I do not, not I do not care. Even if I end up having to move to Australia or something weird, random like that, I am flying to Australia with this on my lap. It's never coming apart because I'm never trying to reassemble it. I might have to glaze it with glue. Nope, 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 that's all down there. So, it is, must be those. It must be those things, because they're the only curve which fits the requirements of being on the flat. So, it's got to be these. But they have got to have... Mm-hmm. Something done with them. They've got to have the, one of these inserted into them. Which is fun. At least it's only one that's got to be inserted. Please tell me there's not multiple sizes of these. Because if there are, I think. Oh, you.
there are multiple sizes of the black bed. Or at least I've got one which is fatter than the others. Hey! And... Oh! Right. Now we need those funny bits which were in one of these bags. There you go. There's the bit. And that's got no more of those in. Okay. And there we go. There's the bit. It goes there. Around. Instructions suck sometimes for color blindness. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, what people still talk to people they went to school. Uh, that's what Facebook is for, Jacob. Uh, you keep in track with them. Uh, one of my friends from school first off started off working as a banker, didn't like being a banker, and has instead. Decided, and this apparently was with the support of his wife and the rest of his other family. So, a lot of fun, a lot of good for them to become a professional Lego builder. And apparently, he doesn't really need to bother about uh, anything else because, well, he kind of earned enough money being a banker, was quite successful, that he's going to, he's being happy doing it. Um,. I don't know, that's what I heard. I'm suddenly very cautious to note to a note that I do not have one side of this done. I have one side done, like so, but I do not currently have the other side done. And I have a feeling it's going to be something to do with this at some point. But at the moment, this, I think, goes on... Here. That looks more like it. And that makes more a lot more sense as well, that positioning. So I was putting, trying to put it on the wrong end. That's fine. We are, we are fine. We are good. Now we will find those pieces. This is one of those things. I don't have, with the sheer amount of bags that I have around me now, I do not have any problems about believing that we will find the pieces. But I think we've now reached a point where we need some. That's the stand. Um, dun, 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 dun. that's not those pieces, nor does it do those. That's more hull, but that's not the right section of hull. That looks like it could be heading for the right section of hull, but it's not the right section of hull. I'm going to remember that piece because it has a black and a red bit in it. Da -da -da. What do you know? Here we go. We have the sections. 
and I wouldn't be surprised if this is these are our sections. Uh huh. That bit also looks like it comes from there. And not those. Not that one. If anyone is a professional committed Lego builder here, you really shouldn't be watching me doing this. Because you're going to be getting a panic attack, because I'm doing this far more condensed than usually. Normally, what I would do is have a massive table, and I should have thought about that, and have it all spread out on the table, and basically have all the bags out. But I didn't think like that. So I'm doing this condensed. And condensed equals... That's a lot of hats. That's funny. Interesting. So, we have one of those. We have... Another one of those. We need a free one. We have one of those. So, we need a single one of these. Yep, and we need a free. And then we do that. And then we do that. And I'm going to guess we have to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Yep. Just to hazard a guess. Still missing those bits, but we'll find them because, again, my theory is they can't be far. There's another Belfast. I have two Belfast pieces. And I know where those go. So I take that. I take a three. Put that there. Then I do that, and then I take another Freya, and I make the other side. I have to just make sure I get these the right way around when I put them on. <laughs> Again, wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time I put nameplates on the wrong way around. I'm going to guess that goes somewhere like there, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'll, um, well, it could go something like that. That would make sense. But then I'd be looking for more twos. Mm-hmm. Insert tab A into slot B. We always hope. The Richards, could you imagine if you could actually see and read the analysis of the actual AI node that is constructed for each of us and what it thinks and has learned about us? Now that would be a laugh. Uh, yeah, it could be. It could also be pretty boring. My view is it'd be probably be boring, more boring than anything else. And I say that...
based on the firm belief and definitely based on the firm belief wrong triple Right trouble. The firm belief that I am fundamentally a boring person, and therefore the computer system should find me boring. Because I'm a historian, I love history, and I love talking about history. But that doesn't make me necessarily interesting on a, I don't know, any sort of super spiritual or symmetry way. It just doesn't. I wish things worked out like that, but they don't. Honestly, that AI, as I said, the AI would probably be incredibly boring. And then you'd have to deal with the fact that you'd be sitting there going, Am I that boring? Am I honestly that boring? Mm hmm. I think we will find those pieces. In fact, I have no doubt we will. Uh. Mm. Yep, there's one. The odds are the bits are always in front of you somewhere. If you've been methodical and organised with making it and putting them out, so you never lose them. Just takes ages sometimes to find the right ones. And there we go, we now have a completed bow. Which looks kind of cute. And a lot of the way now it's saying open bag two. In the nicest way, I couldn't have done that without opening bag two. None of that was, half that stuff was not in bag one. Bag one was almost gone and I didn't have the right parts for it. So, yeah. You might say open bag two now, but I don't. So, right, I need to put on those and those. They look greyish to me. They look kind of like the bits I've already been... I already had... A, a few minutes ago, I had tons of these pieces. I literally tons of them. Now I want them, I can't find them. It's just... It's the way life goes. It is the way life goes. There you go, there it is. And there's another one. It wants me to put on a white one and a grey one. Okay. That's... That's weird, and I'm not sure I'm keen on that idea. Again, I like my ships to have a bit of symmetry, so... I'm going to presume that what they mean is both should be grey, because they're the grey-shaped parts, and I don't have any of the other parts out there, and I can't see any white ones, actually. Hang on. There's a white one, but that's not a curved one, that's an angled one. I'm going to go with the ones I've got on. 
Sheer disorganization just does frustrate me. Ben Richards, millionaire banker. Not millionaire. Please note, not millionaire. Comfortable, not millionaire. And... Honestly... Um, there are people who can take the pressure of that life and who can do that job for their whole, their whole lives. And there are people who can't. I have got friends who fall into both categories. I love them all dearly, but there are friends in each category. And... There's nothing wrong with it if you can't. This is one of those things. If you work hard and you do it while you when you can, that's fine. If you then find later on down the road you can't continue it, that's fine as well. Let people be people is my always my philosophy. In my view, I have I have worked for those organizations. I have worked for um some very intense organisations. And I still do occasionally. And I enjoy the work when I do it. But personally, I wouldn't want to do it full time. Because you have no life. I enjoy seeing my family. And I admit that that puts a limit on my earnings. That puts a limit on what I can do in life. Because if you can dedicate and wish to dedicate yourself... 100% of the time to your work, you're more than welcome to. That's good for you. But I like my family. I like spending time with them. And I've got one friend who, honestly, he has only... He works in London. His family live not far that way from me. And he didn't even leave the office on Christmas Day. And he is paid oodles and oodles. And really does work, uh, earn it. But he has no... He doesn't see his family. He isn't... Well, like me, he isn't married. Um, but he doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't have that. And it, on Christmas Day, he Skyped his family from London. His family live in Epsom, where I live. So, yeah. it's a, In case of the... It's not Babylon. It's it's finding another job, another career, which you which satisfies you in life, and that's what it did. And I'd say, good for him. And I would admit that if I was doing this normally, I'm I'm sure I would have spread it out loud on the table, worked through it, every piece methodically, and done it like that. Okay, we're starting off another piece. So this section goes over here. And now I need some long yellow bits. They don't look, they look quite, hang on, there, is there any of them that long enough? Nope. We're looking for a tenner. That's an eighter, if I'm not mistaken. But there could be a tenner hiding in there. No, that's an eighter. It'll lead up there. There's the tenner. I'm going to need a reward if I finish my cunning book. If you finish your cunning book, if you finish your cunning book and provide appropriate quotations from Cunningham's book in one of the one of the questions I have set in the end of the year for the cruisers paper, I uh, will figure out a suitable reward to send you. That is what I'll say. Okay, Rapid Razak. Fourth when track goes back, trip to Legoland. Oh, that'd be fun. You're not talking about books of messing with some Razorback. Hello, Mrs. Razorback. Hope you're well. Yes, this is a um, a change from normal, but it's a fun one to do. 
it is a fun one to do. I'm looking for ooh not here. No, I don't want to look at my memories from years ago. I don't like looking at my memories from years ago often. Unless they're pictures of my dogs. Okay, we want angle pieces. No, no, they're not corners. They're not corners. They're not corners. Da 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 da. They're not corners. Not corners. They're corners. It's actually quite good for you if you're um, very organised to occasionally be a bit disorganised. It helps me keep things like my... Uh, Desire to organize everything under control to occasionally do things to myself like this. Um, it's actually, if it wasn't for the iron brew and the fact I'm talking to you all, so I'm pretty much. Uh, I have a sort of. Um, how do I put this? I have the, prof the professional sort of lecture mode goes on. If that wasn't the case. Do that times two. Hello, okay. Right then, so we then minus six, a three. Got a three by four. And do that, that, and I'm presuming that. And then we put a six and with a f ah, with one of those little bits underneath it. Well, that's gonna be fun to find. They're at the bottom of this part of that mode. Not that one. Not that one, probably possibly that one. That one. That one looks like it. Yep, and that one. Might not need might need those for later actually, so probably shouldn't use ones which were not which have holes in them yet, just right now. Because we might need those later. So we'll check. And check there aren't ones with uh, with actual. Small parts bits, small parts bits. Weird and funny parts. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's fine. That's not rubbish. That's not rubbish. Small bits, small bits. Not the right small bits, not the right small bits. I think I'm probably supposed to use the bits which are in front of me, but I'm just checking, because if there are more bits than the bits I'm in front of me, then I wouldn't want to use the bits which are in front of me. These look like the right bits, and they look like the right components. Even though they do come with the anchor. Two fivers and two sixes. So I presume, judging by what I'm building, that I am building a section.
of hull plating. I'm going to guess Hmm. And if anyone wants to ask where I got my see what I've done wrong here. So that is that. Hmm. That I have put the wrong way around. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Again, I have dropped this on my chair, and there we go. Oh! Worked too fast. One hundred words. Two thousand wiped. Moving the right direction. That does sound really good. But honestly, I wrote two thousand words yesterday and ended up not liking any of them. So I deleted them all. This is not sensible. I do realise this. Ah, yes. Now I see what I'm missing and why it looks weird. Where's that proddy hole? Uh, proddy tool. You're going to Jutland for a summer for a holiday. Cool. That's for sure. Laboratory medicine is a special type of... Yep. I'll agree that. I had a friend who... Um... Look, I, I, I had a fr one friend in my bachelor's at my university who had worked his entire life in doing... Uh, in, in doing lab medicine. And development of drugs. And the guy was great, but he couldn't switch off. He was wonderful. But his brain never stopped working at all. Never dropped for a moment. In fact, it was... How do I put this politely? His, uh, his wife had turned around to him when he retired, and he did, he'd retired. And she'd gone, that's wonderful, you've retired. But um, we're going to have to have a conversation, because you have to find something to do with your time. Because you're starting to take my house apart. And so he actually started a degree. He'd retired and he started a degree. That's what he... He started a degree in philosophy. And he ended up going off and doing all sorts of research in philosophy. And becoming an, ex an expert in medical research ethics. And this was in his... Um, he'd finally agreed to retire in his 70s. And then his 70s, and he's still going now. He's really brilliant. He's an amazing guy. He's the person who actually beat me for the highest grade from my bachelor's course. And, yeah. Still friends. Still wonderful. And, yeah, just he's just amazing. But, he never switches off. And he's got that way because of the world he's worked in and the world he chose to work in. Which... Paid him very well for it, trust me. He's definitely not worried about money. Uh, well, he wasn't last, uh, last time we tried it. Um, but, um... What, his brain switching off is just not going to happen. 
if you are looking for someone to have a quiet evening chat with, uh, possibly not your person. If you're looking for someone to, in his 80s, go up Snowdonia or something like that, um, up the rock face and do all the stuff getting up the top, etc. Yep, he'll be there. He'll be there like a shot. Without any hesitation, out a moment's worry or anything, he would be there because he would love that. And um, yeah, he was great fun. He is great fun. We haven't got together in a while. We should get together. He's really nice. What he didn't know about medics, med medicine, and etc. It's one of the reasons why I had had no worry about. Um, certain recent issues we'd had, uh, recent things we had, because I called them and basically went, you're the smartest person I know on this stuff, and you know it backwards and forwards. Is this safe? And he went, yeah. I've worked on it myself. I've checked it myself. And that was good enough for me. And that was a very lucky thing to be able to do, to be able to pass on to my family and go, yeah, one of the people I know. Oh, it says... Raparosa, all the authors are in here make me wonder if I could side hustle editing and critiquing. Yes, you could. Seriously, you could. Uh, Raparosa, I'm looking for a book on a day of life of flower class Corvette. Any suggestions? Uh, I was actually supposed to be writing one for a while. Um, but I'm now right, and now my flower class book is very different from that. But I would say Peter Hall's book. He's got a Peter Hall as a book on the Atlantic, and he's, he's brilliant. How long does it take to write 2,000 words? Sometimes it'll take me four or five days. Sometimes I'll get it done in an afternoon. When I am... When I want to be, I can be a very, very type, uh, fast typer. When... Sometimes I can be a very slow typer. It all depends on what I'm feeling, really, at that time. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yep. Yep. That's the bag. Considering there are 300 instructions on this, and it's um, 20 past 9, I have a feeling this could end up going in a box and being completed next week. Represent my phone, how long? For me, roughly 14, 4 15 minutes sprints is a rule. <laughs> Glenn uh, Stephen Richards. Glenn, what's your job, uh, friend? He uh, Glenn is one of the best sci-fi writers you will ever have the pleasure of meeting. He's absolutely amazing at what he does, and he's really, really nice to boot. It's one of the eternally fun things about being friends with him, and I would consider myself his friend, mainly because he has no choice now. <laughs> he can't get away from me. Well. He can, because he's in Canada and I'm in the UK, but I will track him down. I have to go, I, I go to, Can I'm planning on going back to Canada again, not too long ago, away, so, you know.
I'm going to think that's correct. And now I need another four. Where's my other four? <laughs> Every time I think I've got you all down and under control, more of you has to appear up here. Which does make it fun. But, problematic to find the saws. There again, I might just keep going for another couple of hours. Honestly, I'm not tired. And I don't need, I'm not needed anywhere. I'm not needed anywhere at all in the tomorrow. I don't leave this house. It happens. In fact, honestly, I don't think I've left my house. And this, but please, no one feel this is problematic or anything. This isn't. It's just me being wor uh, doing work. Um, I haven't left this house for about um, oh let's see when was the last time I left this house um probably. I last left this house must be a good four weeks ago other than walking the dogs and occasionally going out to see fam uh, going to see family a couple of times in that period and doing some things like that with family I haven't left this house for any other reason because I just haven't needed to because I've just been working from home the whole time I've got work coming up which is going to be travelling all around the frigging country at some point shortly, so it's it all evens out, but you know. Just haven't needed to. Mega scroll language. Yes, Mega Scrow language. Head frigator on this channel. Then there's the new Douglas Adams. Yeah, he's got a better beard than Douglas had, but yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Oh yeah, right. So this. Right then. This one will go here. And this one will go here. That's cute. That works. And that's all built up. And I need... Two, uh, two fours of yellow. Let's sort those out. One. That's a six. There should be another four around here somewhere. That's another four. Oh no, it's a five. Maths, Clark. Maths. Remember to do your proper counting. Show working. So, that to that. And then we need a four, two grey fours. Two grey falls. Right, oof. <laughs> Any interest in a Kuhn sweater? Potentially. Potentially, Kuhn could be cool. I wouldn't say no. 
Kuhn would be very cool. Yeah. Ooh, any questions? Oh, family visit doesn't count. Let's leave your house. When I sign off from the oh, Yeah, mid November. Family visit doesn't count as leaving the house. I can understand why it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I love them dearly, but it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> it isn't a break. <laughs> oh, they're a lot of fun, though. They are a lot of fun. They're nuts. They're, they're my family. What do you expect? You know, in nicest way, if my family was sane, it would be kind of a disappointment to everyone. Kind of surprised to me, especially. Um, I'm not saying it would be a distressing surprise, but it would definitely be a big surprise if they were sane. Mm-hmm. Before anyone asks what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a grey four. Which is somewhere, they, uh, they have some. And no, I haven't been using them out of order. I've been using them pretty much... I've been pretty much barring some packs which have turned out to be in the wrong bag. Which, honestly, considering the sheer number of uh, they do, I'm not surprised some occasionally aren't in the right bag. And honestly, it's just... Muggins luck that it would be my, uh, one uh, for me that would do uh, that would have the fun, but and now I'm looking for the red and the black ones. So that goes to that. Yeah. And then I need... Ooh, this is going to be fun. A grey one. grey one as well. That does look like it's a grey one. I wonder if they're all grey. So I presume they're all the same colour. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. So let us sort this one out. And we've just taken you off, so you should not have gone far. There you go. a lot more sense. And then we need red bits. We'll find the red bits in a second. We'll just correct the other one of you first. Oh! Come off United Earth. Uh, backstory from one of the books. Yes. Need an image to test different hoodies from Pitfall so the Kuhn flag got uh, uploaded. Cool! I think the next call it would take me a week to write 2,000 words. That's when we're from Karen, my wife, spell checking for me. Mm. My turn. I had concluded a while back that whatever the British Empire became if war hadn't broken out, it would only buy foreign if they had to. Would they buy the Aris Battle SA Fury at 30 Puma as the RF did historically, or would it be a stopgut in terms of their own incentive? Probably the latter. There again, it depends if there could be an equivalent swap. 
If there could be an equivalent swap, that would work. But it would have to be an equivalent swap, i.e. the French would have to be buying something which was British, which would do the uh, uh, British as of equivalent value. So maybe not the same number, maybe not the same things, but they would have to buy something of equivalent value from the British. See, what keeps causing me fun is they change the colours of the pieces after they've added them. So they add them on and they go, and eh, now we're going to change to this colour. And you just go, why? Why cause me distress? Why? Because you are causing me stress and that's not really fair. Because you're changing the colours and then afterwards I go back going, was that the right colour I just put on? And going, yes it was. It was the right colour at the time. Before anyone asks, yes, something did just drop on the floor. Ooh, hello. Got you. Not these ones. Not those. Not those. There's more red stuff down here, but that's not all the red. There's more red stuff in here, but that's not that for the base. Decided pretty much that's the base bag. So red, 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 red. Ah, that's what's missing. I put it to one side. Another red bag which I need earlier. Lay it Oh, and don't need any of you yet. And don't need any of you yet. Hello. But it's Grey 17 missing. Don't joke about Grey 17. That's a lot of dice needed. There's just a lot of fun needed. I know. Just listen to the audiobook version of Killing the Bismarck. I was wondering just how many of the RN ships involved in chasing the Bismarck would not survive World War II. Yeah, but pretty much involves most of the Royal Navy. So, yes, there are going to be a lot which don't survive World War II. As, you know, it's it's one of the problems. It's most of the pre-World War II Royal Navy get involved in hunting it down. So, yeah. There's quite a hefty proportion of vessels which don't survive World War II. And before anyone else, yes, I am doing this mildly out of order. Curved or angled? Oh my lord. There are two types. I will... No, there aren't. There is only the type I have found. There is only the type I have found. If they have more that and types than that, then they are going to get something nasty to happen to them. Involving something very nasty. <laughs> I'm presuming that, or something similar, is going to go above it to give it an angle and give it a shape. So yes, that looks like that at the moment, but I need the other one of those. And the odds are it's in front of me, because there's slowly more and more bricks appearing in front of me, and less and less bricks on the floor. Which is a good thing, because it gives me, proper, it gives me space, uh, space to find them. Mm -hmm. But the bricks I need are not there. Nothing there. There. Oh, you just fell on the floor. Not there. Oh, those are those ones. Okay, I remember that. Hang on. No. Not in there. 
Not in there. Although some interesting bricks are in that one. This is fun. <laughs> I know, I keep saying that. Um, Is there, a, uh, is there a naval force today capable of penetrating China as the EIC? He's in come our ended during the opening wars. Um, you're probably the only option would be the US Navy, but probably with allies along. And the reason I say they'd have allies along is not because of the US Navy being weak. It's just when you're dealing with that sheer amount of force, you need everything you can get. Um... First round battle probably to read like the grand sacrifice of the Allies. And it probably will be the grand sacrifice of the Allies because they'll, you know, their units will expel as much force as they can. They'll take as much with them as they can and then, yeah. Withdraw. And whatever of them will get home. Whatever can of them will get home. And then the the US will, ships will have to carry on. Which sounds rather cynical, but that's probably what will happen. Okay. There are more bags open than there are cl bags closed up. And still, I cannot find the piece I'm looking for. So, it's always somewhere in front of me. But where is it in front of me? I have this again on a scenario where it's all locked down and can't really move anywhere. So, that is the whole purpose of this uh, confined space in that ad one advantage. No, not in that one. Anything similar to this piece in that one? Nope. Similar to this piece in that one? No. Go back to that pack, because I've completed that up to that point. And I need... Hmm. Have I? Uh -huh. I do wonder if I have mm, made a mistake of my own creation on this one. Have I? Have I? Have I? Have I? Hello. That's the stern. That's Belfast on that angle. They're all shown from that angle. Is there one? Okay, there is one on the stern. And that's got grey, 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 grey. Okay, that's fine. I'm not that. I'm not wrong. Not wrong so far. Checking color, uh, checking various things. And I've even got the right one there. Oh, that's good. Phew, that was worrying me. So that's where the whites come in. The grey, grey, grey. And there are two more propellers somewhere, and I've only found two of them. This is fun. So, 
Not that bag. Not that bag. Could be. Well, there's that in that bag. It is that bag. There it is. Hang on. No. Is that it? That's a curved one. It's supposed to be an angled one, right? It's an angle. No curve. Represent, Dr. Clark, if Webster's Dictionary defines a cruiser as moderately armed and armoured, how do you define moderately armed and armoured? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the fun thing. But sometimes the very definitions themselves manage to muck it up. So, yeah. Moderately armed and armoured is all entirely contextual because there are times when what's moderately armoured... What's moderately armed and armoured for the 1910s is not going to be what's moderately armed and armoured for the 1930s. It just isn't. It's subjective and dependent upon the time it's in. Helpfully, it says. Helpfully. Now, the advantage I'm currently going for is if I have pretty much every piece of Lego open on my desk, I can complete it. Or rather, every piece of Kobe merchandise. Because it's Kirby, not Lego. Keep, I keep calling it Lego. It's because it looks like Lego pieces, but it isn't Lego pieces, it's Kirby. There is a difference. We have to remember that difference. Although that difference is so slight as to honestly be um, not really worthwhile mentioning or thinking about. Represent the piece you're looking for is prime, part of the primary assembly of the secondary subassembly and tertiary junction of superstructure and hull. Uh, no, it's part of the base hull. That's what it's part of. It's part of the base hull. And yeah, I'm getting there. There is part of which is tempted to put in a different colour and just go, this is camouflage. <laughs> this is my version of spac of camouflage. Yeah. shape. That's the correct shape. So I'm looking for something of that shape. And I'm slowly collecting all the things of that shape together in a pile. It's fun. I know, what's the questions? Any questions? Limpin' over. Is a battle cruiser a cruiser? Uh, no. Well, yes, a battle cruiser is a cruiser, but it's a very it's a battle cruiser. It's a case of the uh, once you start getting into some of the specifics of cruiser world, you get into things which are very very interesting. And the trouble is, the cruiser spectrum is quite so broad. 
and a battlecruiser is a cruiser, but it's also not going to be something which you would call moderately armed and moderately armoured. It just isn't moderately in anything. It's heavily armed and adequately armoured is what you'd call it, but not moderately. And adequately armoured is adequately armoured for its role, not necessarily for what it ends up doing. One of the other joys of history. Things often end up doing things for which they are not designed. Please tell me, I have spent the entire time going, it can't be in here because this is the Belfast, this is the stand. That is the stand baggage. That is the stand baggage. That's another piece of, oh, well, another plastic bag. I don't need any more. Not in there. Well, that's got more pieces like that in there. No, no, no. Babaxi, who's done this, is probably sitting there going, Ah! Alex, stop it! And I'm going, Mwahahaha. That's more hull bits. Luckily, you know where the red stuff goes, and you know where the grey stuff goes, broadly speaking. It's once you get above that level, it gets interesting. But slowly, we are getting there. We have got this all done, which is the stern. So it goes like that. And I presume, therefore, at some point this hooks in, probably somewhere about there, judging by its broad speaking shape. I'd say, broadly speaking, by its shape, that's where I think it would be. But we'll see. Oh, I asked the question earlier, what do you think of the best ratio of crew to uncrewed aircraft on aircraft carriers? Um, probably two to one to begin with, of crew to uncrewed, but it could well rise to 50-50 and it could eventually go one to, three, uh, one to two. There is some massive Lego out there, and I think I'm going to carry on doing what I did earlier, which was just carry on building and just see what uh, see what turns up as I'm building, because that seems to me to be the more interesting and the better approach to take. And you do have to consider what is the more interesting one sometimes, sometimes, mainly because it's keeping yourself interested. As we all know, I do run this channel occasionally, a bit on the grounds of... Oh, yeah. Should we announce what's the patron voters in? And the final results. We have 23 for Martin Peacock's Queen Elizabeth class. So that is one. That's not first place. 22 for Michael 66, if Singtel instantly leads to war. So that's second place. On 17 in third place is Paul Thompson's The Attack on Copenhagen in 1801 and following on operations. And on 16, in joint fourth place, we have Wayne Borian's HMS Sergeant Corps question and Colin Cameron's HMS Vanguard sinks era Vincent de Mayo. After being an early leader, Colin, you unfortunately have dropped back to fourth. Um, then in fifth place, we have Jack Ray's History of Stanflex on 12 votes. And then we have a couple more on 11 and the rest sort of below that in... Oh, there's one on ten. Wayne Boring again, and the rest are on single digits. So yeah, tells you what our new our, our, our um, lives are going to be for the coming month. Ba -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. So they both got that and that on. One grey and three white. I'm going to go for. Mm -hmm. So, on. This side, we have a white. Uh, 
that. No, I need one of those little bits. The little fiddly bits which look like bollards. I need one. Thank you. Fiddly bits which look like bollards. So I don't lose all that's in you. I'm not going to pour you out. I'm just going to stick you there. This must be the most... You're probably all looking at this going... Ah, so organised. It's brilliant. <laughs> no, seriously. Jack Ray is probably currently having hives. He is an incredibly organised person. For a sinner going... Ah, why is he torturing me so? In my defense, I'm not sending out to torture anyone. But, I'm also... Sometimes it just takes another examination of it all to go. Hmm. There are lots of different colours going on here. That looks good to me. We've got a dark grey and a light grey. Yep. We put those over there. Seriously, there's a lot of bits you pre-assemble and then you assemble the whole thing. That's good. But it is designed, I think, to make you think, oh, it's coming together. You're going to get it over. And then, oh, oh, no, I'm not as far along as I thought I was. And then I need some black bits. that and that mm -hmm. I need to do that twice that's a show re cruises funny to compare HMS Drake with SMS uh, as a Carl by the space phenomenon even armor yeah Rat King. Hello, Rat King. Why is logistics for all services not possible, say, naval, naval artillery guns? Logistics is possible, but you have to remember there is often big differences in it. In the case of most land guns, traditionally, were so small compared to naval guns that they were basically light artillery. And sometimes they would have compo they would have commonality going on, and they would have things dressed up to sort of be similar. But often you'd also have situations arise where, frankly, it just wasn't sensible to combine the two. And then, of course, there's the fact that you often have, if you are especially large empire, you have large enough needs in both that, frankly, it doesn't matter logistically if you combine the two because you really are going to be producing so many things anyway. 
it's not going to make much of a difference. We have done two of these. Mm hmm. So that's basically the problem. It's just, it's... Often the quick fix, to log uh, fix for logistics issues is not actually a quick fix once you get into it. It's actually more of a ouch. Oh, that doesn't work that well. Okay, next solution. And there always is a next potential solution. Two grey ones like this. Yeah, like that. Both the same colour, apparently. Logistics is not one of those things which has often got quick and easy solutions, sadly enough. It's one of those things which often requires a lot of, oh, should we? What should we do? How should we do this? Get it wrong, you end up with a lot of trouble going on. Get it right people call you a hero. Or actually, more often than not, forget about you completely. That's the other joy of logistics. No one gets really any big awards for getting logistics right. If they do get mentioned and do get noticed, it's because of this, uh, uh, because people up the chain of command have been really, really scared. And if it wasn't for them, they wouldn't have, been, they wouldn't have survived. But as a rule, you don't get many awards for getting logistics right. You just get a Oh, well, that's good. Can you do it this again in this job? Which is also another problem which causes problems with, strategy, uh, with the grander strategy of things and the grander thinking of things. Because if that's your approach to logistics, it's never going to get the never going to get the attention it needs. <laughs> Not in that one. Mm -hmm. Take care, Glenn. Good luck. Your cold and migraine are still being mean. Stop having colds and migraines. They're not good for you. I know you can't, but... Take care, mate. Look after yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Although that basically doesn't rule out much. Lord. These really are spread all over the place. This is going to sound strange, but uh, it sounds like me complaining because of um, possibly sounds like my disorganization, but I'm sitting here looking at these and going, they have really spread pieces all over the fricketing place in this system. And you find them, trust me, you find them, they're there, but they are spread far and wide. It's like, I find the bits, and I know they're here, but they're not exactly the easiest bits to find. I 
and it'll make life just a little bit easier if they were just a little bit easier to find. Just a tad. I don't want much, just a tad. Yeah, that up. Oh. That's a three, and I'm looking for a four. And again, the picture guy could really be a little bit more helpful. You sit there and go, hmm. Hmm. I've got a three, that's a, f that's a three, isn't it? That is a three. And that that came off there was a four. So I'll be needing a four. Not one of these, that's fine. Sometimes the picture guide is more helpful than anything else of it. guide of course is correct we're believing the picture guide we're presuming the picture guide is correct please note we are presuming the picture guide is correct because there's a part on the picture guide which is not in the in here at all Yep, that everything adds up in the maths. But it does not look like that at all. Okay, that's gonna be fun. That is fun. So this is a naval historian going through this, and currently my main view of quite a lot of this structure is, oh my lord, they have made this complicated. Oh, how to torture a naval historian. Make them assemble a, a Lego version of a ship they know quite well, and they're mentally going, but, but, but that doesn't quite tally with that. Because this is supposed to be the stern. And that is... That is bigger than that is. By a long way. By a long way. It makes sense to be that big. But it is bigger than it is by a long way. And... Yeah. And... There's a...
Six. Papaski, I'm hoping you're still online because you might be a better guide than the the um, actual instruction manual right now. I'm hoping you're still there. <laughs> oh. It's all done. And now, well, we have one on, and I put both on, but hey, yeah. let's hope that's not a massive problem. So, I need. You got a carrier, you got a carrier. Everyone. I wish everyone got a carrier. I wish that was the case in Portsmouth. The trouble is for Britain is long term you can really you can justify a navy. You can justify a navy quite easily. For Britain. Um there comes a problem with justifying Well, you can justify the Air Force. That the army, if you're not forward deployed, becomes more difficult to make the case for. Not because it's not useful. Please note, I'm not saying it's not got use, but it's a case of, well, when you're dealing with, especially certain groups of politicians, um, you can get a certain sort of scenario going, well, you know, uh, how long is it going to take to deploy the army? There's no point, da 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 da, if they're not forward deployed. So then they have to think about being forward deployed. And the trouble is if they're being forward deployed is how strong are they going to be when they're deployed? The trouble is for the British Army is that honestly no one's going to pay to rebuild the British Army or the Rhine. That just isn't going to be the money. So as much as it might be attractive to certain... This is, uh, this is one of the problems for the Army because whenever they start bringing up these things and start trying to say, let's be have put this money into the Army and this Army... People then go, well, how long is it going to take to deploy? Where are we going to deploy it? How are we going to use it? And that's their big problem. Um, honestly, uh, if I was the British Army, I'd be thinking, right then, maybe. Maybe what we need to do is we need to think about what we can be useful for. And what we can do and start sort of ranging it up. Rather than constantly trying to go, right then, we need to be a first-rank army and everything. Because... The Navy's not even a first rank Navy and everything. The Navy can't... The Navy doesn't get the budget to be. Is that grey or is that dark grey? Is that supposed to be grey or dark grey? I think it's supposed to be dark grey. So, there's that one. Uh, 
And we're looking for another grey bit. Rocking, will there be another naval advancement in the next 50 years? What's left to improve in World of Vessels? Tons. Um, I think the next development in the next 50 years is going to be EMA, is going to be along the lines of someone's going to either get a Gauss gun or a rail gun working. It's going to be one or the other is going to be got working. I'm not sure which one. I would say most likely a rail gun because you can aim that more than you can a Gauss gun. But someone might get a Gauss gun working which would be down and dirty and is actually probably not that difficult to produce. The trouble is, it's not the perfect solution, so that's probably going to cause a whole lot of people to go, No, we can't do that. So that's usually what happens in the world. Uh, not perfect solution. If it's not a perfect solution, oh no, we shut it down. And then go, oh, we don't have any solution available. And we go, well, yes, you had all these solutions which were 95% there, and you probably used a couple of them. You might well have got it done. And they go, mm, okay. But people don't like you saying that. 95% solutions aren't good enough. You have to have 100% perfect solutions from the get-go. You can't go with 99%. Hey, pop back see, it's not a mess. I know what I'm doing. Broadly speaking. And I'm enjoying it. Hang on. No, that's the wrong type. I'm looking for that, but with a smooth top. Hmm. Get box sort by type. Ah. Uh. I haven't had to do that in years. Actually, I've never done that. Honestly, I'm being fairly good and actually keeping to the um, instructions. I used to always be one of those people who, when building, would would start to adapt it. And just go, yeah, I'm going free range. Wah. Wind up some of my friends, something chronic. Because the thing is, when I want to, I can follow the instructions quite happily, like I'm doing now, and be perfectly happy. But when I want to, I also will completely rewrite the instructions. Yeah. I can see where you're coming from, Pavatsky, but honestly, this has been... You know, the stuff is actually in the right bags. All the groups, whenever I need something and I'm looking for it, it's in the bags to get the correct bags together. So it's never that. It's just a case of the bags have been spread around the different bags wrongly. And, yeah. I got that. That's a mess, but it's coming from the mess. There we go. I think that's the same colour. When did I put down the bed I was constructing? There it is. Mm -hmm. once one of my friends who was building with me and I was following the instructions at that time and they got so annoyed trying to find a piece they actually swept everything onto the floor and what was really stupid was we were both trying to build the same bit and so the piece was actually in my hand and when he sort of said oh that's the piece I'm, I'm looking for this piece I went that's the one I've got in my hand Mm 
Right, and turn it over. So, Rocky, you need 110% solutions brandy to keep the politicians happy. Yeah, you certainly need something to keep them happy. I don't think, I, I, sometimes I don't think even they know what they need to keep happy. I really don't think they do. And I don't think a lot of people do in this world. I think that's a, well, that, that's one of the sad things about the world. That a lot of people don't know what they need to keep themselves happy. Which is rather sad when you think about it. Because if you don't know what to keep yourself happy, how can you keep anyone else happy? You know, it's kind of like physician heal thyself first. If you don't know how to keep yourself happy, how can you make anyone else happy? Which is rather... Mm. That's right. Why do people forget uh, Atreus Hood being shown off was how the RN used battlecruisers? How you're supposed to flaunt them. Yeah, they forget lots of things when it comes to battlecruisers. They forget lots of things when it comes to cruisers. They think lots of... Uh, people forget lots of things full stop. That's one of the first things you learn in history. People forget history. That's a special one to be used elsewhere. Those aren't the pieces. Those aren't the pieces. Those are pieces which look right. right.
Alright, I need a four which has bits on both sides. And it's grey. Bits on both sides, connectors on both sides, four grey. There we go, you got that. It's okay, Tana. Have fun. I was asking, I'd buy my son a second one rather than see him tear my ass out apart to build something else. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I get that. You're not the first person to tell me these sorts of things. Hmm. And I do get it. But I also, and this is this is something important to remember. I am the son, the brother, the family member of countless engineers. And I will tell you something else. Sometimes the most fun you can have is tearing down the pieces and trying to work, build uh, build something new from it. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's also very annoying when you have to put it back together again. I will admit that. Tremendously annoying. <laughs> because that is the other appropriate thing to do. Because once you've done it, you do it. Yeah, that's fine. But you then put it back together again because that's polite. And that can be actually a job on its half and its half. And it is a great way for amusing kids, again, from my own experience. Um, having them put back together what they have taken apart. Yeah, that's a great way of amusing us. Keeps us busy for ages. Right then, you've built this, uh, you've had these three experience building all these. That's great. Now put it back together the way it was when it began. Um, what do you mean, Peppa? Yep, put it back together again the way it was when it began. You, you you mean uh oh oh great yep yeah, yep yeah, Pepper um yeah that's um that's a fun one You can, can't you? Y y of course, Pepper. <sighs> Thank God I could. Or it would have been a really, really bad existence for me. Luckily, when it comes to reconstructing, I could. Uh, I can usually remember and put the pieces back together again. Usually, he says. There's always. There's always a first time when you can't, but, you know, so far I've been lucky. So far the fates have smiled on me. So far, we can't always guarantee they'll be that nice, but you know, so far. There we go. Just 
while I remember it. Before I'm looking everywhere for this bit in a bit. You only need to, uh, one tool to build the IKEA warship. Yeah, probably. Hey guys, we have no real fun. Uh, isn't that fun? <sighs> yes, but there again. Here is the problem, and I may I, I, I pointed this out to an army mm, senior type. I won't give him more details on that, but I did point it out in a discussion recently when we were sort of online thing. Uh, it was a not a Zoom meeting, but you get the idea. Anyway, uh, we're chatting away, and he's sitting there going, oh, there's this, 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 this. And I turned around to him and said, you want all this heavy equipment. How will you get the heavy equipment to the war zones? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. That, that, that isn't going to work, is it? Well, that is not. In the nicest way, the thing you've just spent the last 20 minutes shout uh, saying we didn't need, i.e. carriers and amphibious ships, are the only way you're going to get that heavy equipment anywhere near a war zone. So, if you get rid of one, what do you think is going to happen to the other? Do you think you're really going to save your fa your stuff? Or do you think, longer term, you've just signed a death knell for your stuff? Because you can sit there and you can tell me what you like. But we both know the truth of what the answer is going to be. If you don't have any way of getting something to somewhere, there's no point in having it in the first place. So it's not going to be in it's not going to be insert it's kept, is it? And I have to say this sort of thing to people more often than I like, and probably it gets me a bad name. It probably really does get me a bad name, because we say it on bilge pumps quite often, and that gives us a really bad name. But it's truth. It's the case of if you don't have the connectors which will get the equipment where you need it to go. There's no point in having that equipment in the first place. How probable is it that in a British Commonwealth thing, Thatcher might not get to that? Oh, good lord, that's so many different permutations along no one knows. Thatcher could still very well get to power, because Thatcher is quite a power, quite an influential politician. Whether she'd have to make the same compromises she did have to make to get to power, and do the same thing she had to do once she was in power, who knows? But, you know, this is the, it's a different... You're dealing with an entirely different world scenario at that point, so you can't really predict anything. Once you're, once you're that many permutations down the butterfly route, things change dramatically. Keep safe. I need more iron brew. I should get more iron brew. When I find this piece, I will have give myself more iron brew as treat. Because I have earned it. I have this sneaking suspicion. It is staring at me completely. I now have pretty much all the pieces in front of me. That was like that. That is like that. That is like that. None of them are like that. None of them are the twins. That is... That has some interesting pieces in it. Does that have... Those don't be seen. No, it doesn't. That doesn't have... It, does it? No. Doesn't that's just two pieces which are stuck together? So don't need to open that one. Not that one. Not that one. Mm, 
that one. Mm -hmm. They're fairly distinctive pieces, and I'm sure I haven't used them already. So. Nope. Nope. That's not the right piece. That's not the right piece. That's not the right piece. Too short. That's not the right piece. Too short. That's not the right piece. Too short. It's not the right piece. Team Richards. I'll be Yanks right. I'll be a second rate force now. Um, well, that is the opinion of one Yank general. Uh, but who are you comparing to? Compared to the Americans? Yes, everyone's a second-rate force. In the nicest way, you're sort of going, well, yeah, but who's first-rate compared to the Americans? The Japanese aren't there. Look at how much money they're putting in their defense budget to try and get to somewhere approximating that. The Chinese aren't there. So, yes, if first-rate is, uh, i.e., America... Then no, no one's uh, no one else is first rate, so get used to it. But compare it's compared to what? There are many nations in the world which would love our capabilities. They'd be a massive step up on them. So that's it, 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 there's got to be some sort of realism. And one of the things I find with that is that okay, so I was talking about this with the uh, Nebula, uh, with the Dutch. Today on the Twitch stream. And... The Dutch are this capable military force. And they're a really capable navy. Until they have to pick army or navy. And the reason they have to pick army or navy is because of the changing strategic situation. And Britain has always been, historically, a small army. Which has been very highly well trained. But not really a first rate army. The first rate army has always been... Germany, France, America, somewhere else, not Britain. Britain had the first-rate navy, something which required less people, but a whole lot of technological investment and a whole lot of skill to build and infrastructure to set up and basically long-term thinking. And this is the scenario, this is the problem. We are expecting ourselves to be one thing, and we're not. We're expecting ourselves... It's, it's a case of, do, can we be afford to be first rate in everything? Ask yourself that. Because what are you willing not to pay for if you want to be first rate in everything? If you want to be first rate in all defense matters, and in all cases of defense, then what are you willing to not have to pay to be first rate in everything? And there's nothing wrong. That's the other problem we have. With it. It's a case of it's. There's a problem with being second. It's not. It's a case of asking yourself, what do you really need? What does Britain as a nation need? If you need to be first rate in anything, everything. That's great. Fight and fund it. You're going to have to probably quadruple the defence budget. Which means you're going to have to get the money from somewhere. Either by raising taxes, or by borrowing, or by cutting other departments. And that's no small amount of money. Or, you go, right then, so we can't be a first-rate army. We're going to have to be a good enough army. We're going to have to be an army we can focus in places and deploy where we need to deploy. And so it's going to be smaller, but it's going to be highly trained and very skilled, and it's going to be first-rate in that regard. It's going to be highly deployable, and we're going to be able to get the maximum bang from our buck from the army. But then we're going to have to be a first-rate navy and a first-rate air force to guarantee we can deploy a aforementioned army where we need to in the world.
We don't have a failing economy. We have many issues, but we don't have a failing economy. It's no more failing than anyone else's at the moment. And please don't quote the IMF figures at me, because the IMF structurally always under... Uh, because of the way the IMF works out their figures, they always undervalue the UK economy and always overvalue the French and the German economy. And in the nicest way, it's been like that for the last 50 years. And that's not a bad thing, by the way, because they are right according to their own figures, and if you were running things according to those figures, that would matter. But the trouble is they favour an agricultural industrial economy over a service-based economy, and Britain is a more service-based economy, so they always predict Britain as a weaker economy than it is, because they fundamentally do not, uh, do not believe service economy is a stable economy. And that's fine. I can understand that from the IMF's, uh, IMF's uh, position, and I can accept that. But it's a case of, yeah, this ain't going to work. It, one of these things is not like the other. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. That has a funny bit. That has a funny bit. That is a funny bit. Jacob, you can scrap politicians' wages to pay for the first-rate military. I think plenty of you. Uh, the trouble is, in Britain, we don't pay our politicians that much. You get the politicians you deserve, and honestly, it, it's going to sound strange. They get paid a lot compared to the national average wage. Please note, I'm not saying that. But as a whole, our actual our politicians are actually not that expensive. It's quite disturbing once you realise quite how expensive other political establishments are. And don't get me started on various... Um, larger or multinational organizations. So, guessing the building of World Force will take an extra week? No, I think I'll take I'll get it done tonight. It is now 20 to 11, I will admit that, but there's actually quite a lot more done than it looks like, and the ship's actually getting along quite well. Richards, socialist medicine isn't the answer. Go to hospital now. I, I don't see the problem in it. Socialized medicine works actually quite well. It depends on how you want to structure the economy, though. Because socialized medicine, uh, medicine works well for a long-term view. Interestingly enough, there is a point above which, where you raise taxes, you reduce tax returns. There is also a point of uh, uh, there is a point below which you re you re reduce tax returns. There is a happy medium with taxation, and most progressive economies with progressive tax systems have mostly got it right. On the whole. It's not perfect. Please note, I'm not saying that. But most have got it, broadly speaking, right.
It's, it's not an easy thing to do, to work out a taxation system. But it requires a lot more thought than sometimes it's given credit for. And it requires a lot more assessment than sometimes it's thought to. Honestly, sometimes you see some of the things that are written about taxation systems and how you do them and this, 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 and you sit there and go, wow, you have never done a taxation system in your entire life, have you, mate? You haven't got a fuggist. You haven't even done the reading about it. You just are talking off some stats which you've looked up. Because it's like the British Historical Statistics book. It's a great book, but if you don't read about a dozen other books, it's just a load of meaningless numbers. That's right, but it looks a lot bigger. Broadly speaking, right. Hmm, slightly different on colouring, but I'll accept it. Right. No need, Rat King. Language. I still have... According to the details, my little cousins are still watching. So, language. As the, the, the rule of the, the, the lives are... Frigating. Cruisering. There are all sorts of options for you. But, language, because I have little cousins watching and I get it, I get killed. If they pick up new words. I like breathing. Six, seven. Hang on. Seven. Uh, nope, not that one. That one. And that's a two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Yeah. So you go down on top of you. Mm-hmm. We have you, and we have you, and we have you, and you, Rat King, Parlor Quack. I will take that. <laughs> Language, English. <laughs> <laughs> Honourable Lord Cousins, <laughs> I made part two. It made it to part two in the middle here. Um, no, <laughs> but I'm still going. I will get it done. <laughs> oh, I won't. F I, I'm not gonna stop. I will get this done. And mm -hmm. uh, then we want a two. That's good. And then we want some more of these and I have a feeling I know what this is going to be but I'm going to pretend I don't for a bit 
but there's only one section which really makes sense. And if this all comes together correctly, I will be absolutely frigging amazed. But we'll leave it to one side. And... No, no, and... Ah, not that one. Actually going quite well. I was expecting it to take longer. I was expecting it to be two weeks, but I think this will actually be done this week. This is a very, very strange way to build this thing, but, you know, hey-ho. I am perfectly content in building it. And I'm not talking about the my actual building technique yet, I'm talking about the instruction manual. Because there are some things in here which, frankly, are... Why are you doing it this way round? Perhaps I will see. When it's finished, perhaps I will see and go, Ah, oh, that all made sense in the end. But, um... I don't hold much hope for that. Not at the moment. You never know. There is always the possibility. Always the possibility. Always the possibility. And I do, I always hold myself in hope of that possibility. Even though I'm doubtful of it. Hello, Marga. Uh, most exam, uh, so Clark, uh, the more exemptions you put in taxations, the weaker it becomes. We should be better off reforming ours to remove them. Honestly, yeah, it's, it's make it simple. Um, I think the rule of taxation should be, it should be able to be done by anyone who has GCSE maths in the UK. But um, I'm, I'm told that's not possible, but, you know. We can live in hope. We can live in hope. Idea where I, that song just is coming around my head, and I'm not sure where it's come from, but it keeps going around my head. <laughs> and so, like all good people, when this happens, I'm singing out loud, so in the hope that other people will figure it out for me.
Ooh, that was scary. Hmm. Okay. So we have the props. And I have a sneaking suspicion of something. I always have a sneaking suspicion, though. feeling that goes that one. So, that's a long one. Mm-hmm. And... That's a long prop. Is it sneaking on the couch behind a curtain? Sorry, I swear. No, it's not. It's it's where I can see it. It's fine. It's all doing what it. Honestly, it's actually going, as I said, quite well. But the thing is, I realised after I'd assembled them that I assembled my props in the wrong order. I assembled my long props first. <laughs> And I needed to ascend on my short props first. <laughs> and life happens sometimes. And you sit there and go, eh. I have everything else I need so I can assemble them quite easily. I just assembled them in the... I just got the two metal poles out and went, eh, yep, yeah, those are the two I have here. So those are the props. Assemble the props and went, ah. Those are the long metal pole, uh, long poles, long props. Not the short props. They could be the right ones, but I'm not sure with the with the length it's illustrating I'd think it would be a shorter prop, but these are the ones I can find at the moment. Prop. Prop prop stuff. I've been very careful about keeping all the prop stuff on one side and nice and safe, so I'm not worried about that. Anyone would think I've got experience of assembling the props on these things before and having all the fun when it goes wrong. Not on this one. could be all the same length and it could be a trick of the graphics which is being worked on me but we'll see Gary tank commander on my shoulder eh, could be
Take care, Jacob. Good luck on the other side, and I'll see. So, yeah, those will be the long ones for there and there. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, there, is, there are shorter ones. <laughs> Again, they're all red. They are quite short. Hmm. Where are the short toms? Well, I know where the short poles are. They're in Poland, but I'm talking about the short, the, the short pipes. These don't look right. These are not them. No, they're not. They are something, but they're not them. Oh, well, we'll get on with this other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, we turn over this. Find the thing I've been constructing for the last few minutes, and I put down somewhere, and go, hello, there you go. <coughs> Good. Um. I wonder where that song came from. Hey, 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 goodbye. Seems to be the chat is heading towards a very political sl discussion point. Just a heads up on that front. Did HMS... Uh have her old TD, older TDS system. Um, it hadn't been quite... If I remember correctly, Barham didn't have the fully modernised TDS. She had her TDS. But not the fully modernised one. And I think that is part of the trouble. For her. And there's where the rudder will stick. And that's where we'll orientate some of our things. Ba -da -ba -da. 
da 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 There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. People try not to, but politics does come up when you're talking about history. It's just, you have to be careful if you do produce military history content on YouTube, etc., to try and keep... Mm, it, uh, don't dive into it too often. And I know I'm guilty of sometimes leading a stare. Because I, I enjoy a discussion, and I enjoy a good discussion. A lot. But I do have to be, to an extent, pragmatic on some things. And sometimes the things I have to be pragmatic on are really annoying. Because it's boring. But hey-ho, that's life. Alright. I'd say... Seriously, how many specialist one-off bricks do they have on this build? Because it's almost, uh, almost, he says, almost absurd. The sheer number, which keep turning up. I'm not saying I don't like them. I like a nice, good quality specialist brick. As much as any naval historian likes a good quality specialist brick. But... That's intriguing. Okay. Okay.
Nope. None of the ones in there. So we have that one. And we have this one. Mm hmm. Oh, that would make a big difference, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would make a difference. <laughs> Definitely a unique build, this will be. Definitely a unique build. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll rebuild that later. Over that, and take it apart and pull it back together. And but I don't think so. I like that actually. It allows me to do a straight dab. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. So, now if I do that, still not long enough. So, obviously, I've got the wrong poles from somewhere. Is there a load of poles in here? Nope. No poles in there. They're too long to be the short ones. They're too short to be the uh, long ones. Hmm. Tech priest or tech marine? Um, I'd probably pick a tech priest. Ruin, ruin on. Why doesn't look shippy after uh, this? Look shippy after something else. It does look shippy, just not shippy as you know, probably. And ruin on. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally, pliers are coming out. As for Baxi reckoned, they would be. Still not long enough. Still not. Mm. Hmm. Yep, yep, that's the correct distance apart. They're all correct. Basically, I'm wandering over the uh, bottom part of the section. I think propellers are going to wait till the end. As is probably rudder. Because, well. Hmm. It seems only polite to make it wait till the end. So. Mm-hmm. 
you combine the two. That sign looks shitty for you? Starting to look shibby for me. Both sides. Both sides want a 4x4. Four four. I don't know. Is it a 4x4 four four or 4x3? Four 4x3. Three? Four three. That. And that. And one of these. And one of these. That's definitely starting to look pretty darn shippy to me. This is many hours of me being entertained. Um, I hope I'm entertaining all you. Probably for being terrible at it. I am Polish, what do I cross? Yes! I know. Um, please note that bad joke being going on. Going on. Yeah. I make bad jokes. I apologize for them, but I do make bad jokes. far to go before I'm through this uh, whole book. Song come from? Why is it sticking in my head? Planning to go to midnight. Um, I think so. I think we'll make it to midnight. I'm not. Uh, I will definitely have completed as much of this as I can today because, well, I want to do it all for you. As much as I can. It's looking. F it's getting. It's leaping on now rather quickly. So who knows? I might get it finished. And I'm looking for two pieces like that. In fact, I have almost finished this entire section. Woohoo! And with that, pieces go on the floor. Ah. There's one piece. And there's the other piece. Woohoo, that went on the floor. Grab them both. This actually builds itself fairly quickly once you get to go once you get to certain components. Da da dee da 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 da
Do do do. Two triple flat. From there. Put that there. And I need the other triple to go in the middle of there. That's no triple. And that goes on there. And that means we are at the end, minus propellers of this section. And we might as propellers because somewhere one of these amazing rods is actually the propeller rods. But it's working out which is which. He says. And we've got to 106, so we have, in my account, completed the first book. We're now into the second book. Which is the super thick one. <laughs> oh. Take care, ends. from there I need. I need a large piece of bread. I have no idea why I'm singing that so humming that song, but it does seem to me I keep humming a, a song keeps uh, going around my head. It sounds to me like a verse of Hey Jude, but I'm not 100% sure. sure how someone can mark felt on themselves without mentioning Nazi gold, secret Antarctic base, you can do all sorts of things if you want to. Mark Fenton is amazingly good at doing those things. And amazingly good at making himself pretty darn popular, which is a skill. And, look. Favourite historian? Eh, probably not. But, do I have respect for what he achieves? Yes, because he gets a lot of people watching history. And there is never going to be any complaints in my mind about getting people watching history. The question is, can you then get those people to go and look at the history which has the greater detail, the more the more stuff, etc. put in it? And if they can, if you can, great. If you can't, that's where you have a problem. You have a problem is the conversion, not in the entrance. You know, I don't care what gets people through the door of history. I care what keeps people in history. I have this conversation a lot with some very serious people who are basically on the lines of, oh, but this, 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 and I go, no. I don't care about that. Why do you care about that? That you shouldn't care about that. At no point should you care a flying hoot about any of those requirements. What you need to care about are these. And if you care about the proper things, you'll get the right things done. Uh, 
and the correct things to care about are getting people into history in the first place. And once you've got them into history, then you need to get them into other areas of history. You know, you need to show them the world that it can be. The interesting, as the interesting stuff that can come up. Please let my cousins come to sleep. Muppet song? I don't think it's a Muppet song. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Hey hey hey. Goodbye. Oh, it's from the Titans. It's from Remember the Titans. Now I know it. Not sure whether it's that or from that song, but that's what I remember because I was watching that video a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't watched Remember the Titans, it's a very, very good video, a uh, movie. It's got Denzel Washington in it, and that's usually a gold star standard, but the rest of the cast is also blooming brilliant. Including a couple of actors and actresses who have completely since dropped off completely off my radar, so I have no idea where they've gone. Which I find mildly sad, because they were very good, and a lot of fun to watch. They were very, very good in it. Hmm. And it's a shame sometimes when that happens because you sit there and go, those were good. Those were good actors and actresses, and I have lost them completely. Which is annoying. And they're all those pieces. Hmm. So, as you see before, I do enjoy building LEGO models. And I do enjoy the... Uh, I've done a couple of Corby tanks in my time as well, and things. So I wasn't completely in a blind or something like this. But I will say this. They like their complicated pieces in this, in this thing. They really do. I think mine's going to have a slightly more distinct camouflage pattern than they were intending. Mainly because, yeah, I just felt like it. Either. That's the specialist. So, bearing in mind, all the packs now are open. Not a single pack on the floor has any pieces. I've either used a couple of bits somewhere I'm not supposed to in the construction. Or, which I don't think I have. Because it looks exactly like it's supposed to at this point. The vessel as it's supposed to be at this point looks exactly like it's supposed to in the last image of this.
That's exactly like that. Yeah. So, I've got a lot of these pieces, but I know why they are left, because I've looked ahead in the, uh, I've quickly flicked this, and they're going to be used. So where is it? And there's one more, there's another black one. As that's the wrong inside. That's not going to do it. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Good bye. Ba da ba. There we go. But it's theoretically they're supposed to be this colour, those slots, but there are none of them in this colour left. So either I've used more where I wasn't supposed to, which were this colour, in the colour confusion of the charts, or it's trying to confuse me. And they're even more supposed to be used in a bit. So, there is a lot of these going around somewhere. So the question is, where are they supposed to be going around? Because I've got a lot of those middle ones left. But my ship is exactly on, according to the drawings. That's that way round. Hmm. What is the longest Dr. Clark in Zormund? Um, just, uh, it won't be the longest, it will be longest in a while, uh, for a while, uh, at the moment, but uh, won't be the longest actually for a while, uh, permanently. Because there will be more. There will be more to be coming in other things. Definitely the longest brew ships for a while. And I think I'm going to have to leave you there because honestly I can't see these pieces anywhere. I can see plenty like this of this colour. Lots of them like that. And according to this, I've got all these right. However, I apparently need more, which are this colour, but this shape. So, I'm going to have to figure it out. And the trouble is, figuring it out when I'm trying to do a speed finish, it's not really going to work, is it? I don't know. That's annoying. I wonder where they are. They're not in here. There is no other bag. I haven't placed another bag anywhere around here. 
I did have a lot of bags going around at one point, but no, no bags anywhere else that aren't supposed to be. All the stuff is here in front of me, all the parts are there, and yet they're not there. So the question comes, where are they? I think I will come, yes, I think I will do exactly that. I will take a break and I will come back another time. So, I'm going to say thank you very much everyone. I'm going to answer the last few questions. And thank you Stephen Richards for looking up. How long till research has been to send out to check on Dr. Clark? Well, that's the thing. I'm just getting messages about research assistants. Apparently they're not going to sleep with me in the garden. Bring in a fluffy research assistant to help. Uh, Zebedee might eat the things. And Raleigh would probably... Try and reorganise them. That annoys me. That annoys me. But, I'm pretty proud of the progress we made tonight. Take care, everyone. Oh, yeah. Um, I will probably... It's going to sound strange, but I might well end up... Um, Taking the whole thing apart and starting again tomorrow. <laughs> and just getting back to the same level and going, yeah, then I'm sure I've used all exactly the right parts in exactly the right places. I will try and stream the rest of the build. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you, George Newman. Thank you, Jack Ray. Thank you, Glenn Stewart, for the uh, for the actual... For the Express Belfast. Uh, thank you, Anuk. Thank you, Rat King. Thank you, Malaga. Thank you, John Shea. Thank you, Pavatsky, for all your know, messages of support and help. Thank you, um, Rapper Razorback. Thank you, uh, thank you, Abzaski. Thank you, DG40. Thank you, Colin Cameron, Steve Richards. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know it's not the normal brew ships, but hope you had fun. Take care. Thank you, Yosonk. Thank you, everyone. Toodles. Thank you, Runon. Bye. And uh, it is beginning to look like a ship. That is the point. It is beginning to look like a ship. Uh, 1 to 300 scale, I think. Yes, 1 to 300 scale. Take care. Thank you, Melanie. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Ruta Ron, on the pilot too. Maybe.